drop a link to this guy's uh, channel because uh, I think he's amazing. Uh, he's a French guy. That that was the hurdy-gurdy. And uh, he's pretty cool. So I went ahead and let you guys see that a little bit. <laughs> Pardon save that up there for later anyways uh so we are here to read us a bible or as miss parker likes to call it the bible uh this is the let's see here what version is this Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It is the uh, translated out of the original tongues and with the former translations diligently compared and revised by His Majesty's special command. This is the authorized King James Version. So. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip the 
uh, dedication from uh, who is that? Peter James. James. Uh, so we'll start. We'll go ahead and start writing on Genesis. And I'm going to go ahead and read the uh, little chapter summaries at the beginning of this, just to just so I'm not leaving anything out, and uh, it'll also help with. Uh, Sorry, newbie mistake. I forgot to mute my phone. Uh, but it'll also help with uh, explaining context, which is something that people like G-Man doesn't, uh, don't actually uh, pay attention to. So let's see here. Chapter one. Uh, God creates this earth and its heavens and all forms of life in six days. The creative acts of each day are described. God creates man, both male and female, in his own image. Uh, man is given dominion over all things and is commanded to multiply and fill the earth. Uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters from which were under the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called he seas and God saw that it was good and God let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree uh, yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And to rule over the day and over the night, he divided the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let fowl multiply on the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after its kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and so, forth, and so on. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth on the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created, in the image of God created he him, uh, male and female created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it 
and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed uh, to you. It shall be for meat and to every beast of the earth. And to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Okay, so that was chapter one. Let's see here. And we might get through most of Genesis if I keep that up. <coughs> Let's, uh, Take a quick break real quick. Okay, I see uh, Blue, Darth Raven, Funny Video Maniacs, and Crimson. How are you guys doing? Oh. Okay, uh, chapter two. The creation is completed. God rests on the seventh day, and the prior spirit creation is explained. Uh, Adam and Eve are placed in the Garden of Eden, and they are forbidden to eat the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Uh, Adam names every living creature. Adam and Eve are married by the Lord. So, thus the heavens and the earth are finished, and all the, uh, the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. Uh, and God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because it was in in it. He had rested from all his work, which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created uh, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it. had not caused it to rain upon the uh, the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Uh, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Uh, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became, in, and became into four heads. Uh, the name of the first is Pison, uh, that is it which compasseth the whole land of Havila, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is uh, Bdellium and the Onyx Stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. Uh, the same is it that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. Uh, and the name of the third river is Hidekel, uh, that is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria, and the fourth river is the Euphrates. Sorry, give me just a second. I've got a fan on real quick, and it's kind of loud. Sorry if that actually works. Like... Let's see here. And the Euphrates. Okay. Uh, and the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden, thou may, thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that thou eatest therefore thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Uh, and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. 
and whatsoever Adam called every living thing, that was what that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an, an help meet for him. Uh, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon him, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, uh, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, and man and his wife, and were not, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Okay. <clears throat> uh, chapter 3. The serpent, uh, and it does say in quotation marks, Lucifer, deceives Eve. Uh, she, she and then Adam partake of the forbidden fruit. Her seed, Christ, will bruise the serpent's head. Uh, the roles of the woman and man are explained, and Adam and Eve are cast out of the Garden of Eden. Adam, pres Adam presides, Eve becomes the mother of all living. Uh, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree that be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit there, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the gardens. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art, where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told, you that you, uh, who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree uh, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldst not eat? Uh, and the man said, uh, The woman whom thou gavest uh, to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Uh, upon thy belly thou shalt go, and dust shalt thou eat all the, all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. <clears throat> okay. Uh, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Uh, in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be, shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee saying, thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for, uh, for thy sake in sorrow, thou shalt eat of it all of the days of thy life. Uh, thorns also had uh, thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee and thou shalt eat the herb of the field in the sweat of the face thou shalt uh, eat bread till thou return unto the ground for out of it wast thou taken for dust thou art and unto dust thou uh, shalt thou return. 
And Adam called his wife's name Eve uh, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. Uh, and the Lord God said, Behold, the man is becoming as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and also take and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed at the moment of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword, which turned every away to keep the way of the tree of life. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that was chapter three. Let's see here. Hope you guys are having fun. Uh, chapter four, Eve bears Cain and Abel. They offer sacrifices. Cain slays Abel and is cursed by the Lord who also sets a mark upon him. The children of men multiply. Adam begets Seth and Seth begets Enos. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, uh, and she conceived and bared Cain and said, I have given a man from the Lord. And she began to bear, or she again bared his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel, uh, he also brought uh, of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respected unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very much wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? Uh, if thou dost well, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou dost not well, sin lieth on the door. Hang on a second. Apologies. Uh, uh, Okay. If thou dost well, uh, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be the, his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? Uh, the voice of my brother, the voice of my brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from the ground, uh, from thy hand. Uh, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond uh, shalt thou be on the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Uh, behold, thou hast driven me out uh, this day and from the face of the earth and from thy face shall I be hid and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. Uh, and the Lord saith unto him, therefore, whoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken up, uh, taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, uh, lest any fighting him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bared Enoch. Uh, and he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Erad, and Erad begat Mahujiel, um, and Mahujiel begat um, Methusael. And Methuselah beget Lamech, and Lamech it took unto uh, and Lamech took unto him two wives, and the name of one was Adah, and the name of the other was Zillah. And Adah bare Jabel; uh, he was the father uh, of such as dwell in tents, and as such as have cattle. And his brother was named Jubal, 
and he was the father of all which of all such as handled the harp and organ and zilla she also bare tubal cain an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron and the sisters of tubal cain was nama and lamech said unto his wives ada and zilla hear my voice ye wives of lamech hearken unto my speech for i have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt uh, if Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son, uh, and called his name Seth, for God said, She hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and we called his name Enos. Then again, man, uh, then began man to call upon the name of the Lord. Okay, it's about to get complicated. Apparently, we're. Uh, I think this is the chapter where we're getting into the uh, the genealogy. Let's see here. Uh, anything else here? Uh. Not generally, uh, just, you know, a read straight through. This is, uh, most church, most church, bleh, most churches, uh, they, they just kind of quote mine, cherry pick, you know, just to figure out that kind of stuff. I understand that security monitor lizard. Uh, I think we're going to, let's see here. I'm at 25 minutes now. Uh, might get up to the, the, you know, maybe chapter 11, the tower of Babel. Uh, just, I guess, see how long it takes. Okay. So, uh, chapter five, the generations of Adam are Adam, Seth, Enos, Canaan, uh, Mahalalil, Jared, Enoch, who walked with God, uh, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah, who begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, so this is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man in the likeness of God, uh, made he him. Uh, Male and female created he him and blessed them and called uh, their name Adam in the day that they were created. And Adam lived in a hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundred years and he begat sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years and he died. And Seth lived in... And Seth lived in 105 years and begat Enos. And Seth lived after he begat Enos 807 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were 912 years and he died. Uh, phony Beetle Maniacs, I know you're in the chat. Uh, is this the genealogy list that, they got, uh, that they're using for the age of the earth? Uh, yeah. And Seth lived after, uh, after he begat Enos 807 years and begat sons and daughters. And all of the days of Seth were 912 years and he died. And Enos lived 90 years and begat Canaan. And Enos lived after he begat Canaan 815 years and begat sons and daughters. And all of the days of Enos were 905 years and he died. And Canaan lived 70 years and begat Mahal Mahalaleel. And Canaan uh, lived after he begat Mahalaleel uh, 840 years and begat sons and daughters. And all of the days of Canaan were 910 years and he died. Thanks for clarifying that, Tony. And Mahalaleel lived 605 years and begat Jared. Sorry, 60 and 5 years and begat Jared. And Mahalaleel lived after he begat Jared 830 years and begat sons and daughters. And all of the days of Mahalaleel were 895 years, and he died. 
And Jared lived in 160 and two years and begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were 960 and two years and he died. And Enoch lived 65 years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. Uh, and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. Uh, and Methuselah lived and 180 and seven years and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat uh begat Lamech 780 and two years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Methuselah were 960 and nine years and he died and Lamech lived in 180 years 180 and two years and begat a son and he called his name Noah saying this same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our uh, hands uh, because of the ground which the Lord hath cursed and Lamech lived after he begat Noah 590 and five years and begat sons and daughters. And all of the days of Lamech were 770 and seven years. And he died and Noah was 500 years old and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Sorry, I need a drink now. <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely tell that this has got a lot of uh, poetic, uh, what's the word, uh, I want to say pentameter, there, there's a lot of uh, poetic licensing in there. Uh, so Genesis chapter 6, this is going to be fun. Uh, the sons of gods marry the daughters of men, uh, God turned to, men turn to wickedness, the earth is filled with violence and all flesh is corrupted, the flood is promised, God establishes his covenant with Noah who builds an ark to save his family and various living things. And it came to pass that, may, uh, that men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men uh, that, they, that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. Uh, for that he also is flesh, yet his day shall be 120 years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and after all that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of man, and they bare children unto them, uh, and the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Uh, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart uh, and the Lord said I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air for it re repenteth me that I have made them but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. There, These are the generations of Noah. Uh, Noah was just a man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt for all flesh and corrupted uh, his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come, at, come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, room shalt thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make, of it, uh, make it of. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, the breadth of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits. Uh, a window shalt thou make of a window shalt thou make to the ark, and in it a cubit shalt thou finish it above. 
And the door of the ark shall be set in the side thereof with lower, second, and third stories uh, shall thou make it. And behold, I, even I, uh, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. Uh, but with thee will I establish my covenant and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives uh, with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring onto the ark to keep them alive with thee. Shall uh, They shall be male and female of fowls after their kind of cattle after their kind of every creeping thing of the earth after its kind. Two of every sort shall come onto thee and to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee all of the food that is eaten and uh, thou get, shalt gather it to thee and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Uh, thus did Noah, according to all of that, God command him. So did he. Oh, no worries there. Midnight goddess. You're fine. Uh, yeah, this is it's a little boring, but at the same time, it's, uh, kind of educational, but, but wait, there's more, uh, Noah's family and various beasts and fowl enter the ark. The flood comes and the water covers the whole earth. Uh, all of the life that breathes, that breathes is destroyed. Uh, and the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and see thy house into the ark, for, the ha for thee have I seen righteous before me come uh, in this generation. If every clean beast uh, shalt thou take to, uh, take to thee by seven, and the male and the female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and, the fe and his female. Uh, of fowls also keep uh, of the air by sevens, the male and the female, and to keep seed alive along the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon uh, the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy them off the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. And Noah did according to all that, uh, that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of the waters was upon the earth. Uh, and Noah went in with his son and his wife and his son's wives with them, uh, into the ark because of the water of the flood, uh, of clean beasts, uh, and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth. There went in two and two unto Noah and to the ark, uh, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. Uh, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, uh, the 17th day of the month, the same day where all the foundations of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, in the selfsame day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah and, the wife, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. Uh, they and every beast after his kind and all of the cattle after their kind and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah, into the ark, two and two of all flesh, uh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, uh, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bare up the ark, it was lift up above the earth. And the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth. And the ark went upon the face of the waters and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth. And all the high hills that were under the whole heavens were covered. Uh, 15 cubits upwards did the waters prevail and the mountains were covered. Uh, and all flesh died that moved upon the earth, uh, both of fowl and of cattle and of beast and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man. 
uh, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life and all that was in the dry land died. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both men and cattle, the creeping things, the fowl of the heavens, and they were destroyed from the earth. And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him on the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth uh, and 150 years. Uh, chapter 8. Let's see here. Yes, I definitely agree. This is, this is an English translation of a Latin translation of a Hebrew text. Yes. Um, yeah, see, in one, he was told to take two of each kind. Uh, uh, apparently, certain beasts, they took seven of each kind. Um, I'm assuming that was for the, the herd animals that they were probably going to be eating to survive for that year. Uh so, okay, so chapter eight, the flood ceases, Noah sends forth a dove, which returns uh, with an olive leaf. He releases all living things from the ark. Uh, he offers sacrifices, uh, seed time harvest and seasons were insured. Uh, and God remembered Noah and every living thing and all of the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the ark and the waters are, uh, and the waters assuaged. The fountains also of the deep and the window of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained and the waters returned off of the earth continually. And after the end of the 150 years of the water, uh, after the end of the 150 days, the waters were abated. Um, and the ark rested in the seventh month on the 17th day of the month upon the Mount of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the 10th month. <clears throat> uh, in the 10th month, on the first day of the month, where the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark, which he had made. Uh, and he had sent forth a raven, which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. Uh, also, he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot, and she returned to him uh, into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Uh, then he put forth his hand and took her, and pulled her in unto him into the ark. And he stayed for yet another seven days, and again sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came into him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off of the earth. And he stayed yet another seven days and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him anymore. And it came to pass in the six hundred and first year, in the first month and the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth. And Noah removed and covered, uh, removed the covering of the ark and looked and behold, the face of the ground was dry. And in the second month on the seventh and 20th day of the month was the earth dried. And God spake unto Noah saying, go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife and thy sons and the sons of thy wives bring forth with, uh, with the every living thing that is with thee. Of all the flesh, both of fowl and of cattle and of every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth, that they may breed, breed abundantly in the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. So Noah went forth and his sons and his wife and his son's wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing and every fowl and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds went forth out of the ark. And Noah built an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I shall not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more every uh, thing living as I have done while the earth remaineth seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. 
Uh, actually running pretty good from uh, where I was hoping to get. Uh, Okay, chapter 9. Uh, Noah and his sons were commanded to multiply and fill the earth. Uh, they were given dominion over all forms of life. The death penalty is decreased for murder. Or, sorry, the death penalty is decreed for murder. Uh, God will not again destroy the earth by a flood. Canaan is cursed. Shem and Japheth are blessed. Uh, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all of the fishes of the sea into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meant for you, uh, even as the green herb uh, have I given you of all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, uh, shall you not eat. And surely your blood... Surely your blood of your lives will I require as the hand of every beast. Will I require it uh, at the hand of every beast? Will I require it? And at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man? Whoso sheddeth man's blood by uh, by man shall be shall his blood be set, shed for in the image of God may be made he man. And you be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly on the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you, and with every living thing that is with you, and the fowl of the cattle, and every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Uh, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there be any more flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. Uh, I do set my bow in the cloud, and I shall, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. My bow in the cloud. Okay, rainbow. Sorry. Uh, and it shall come to pass that I, uh, that I shall bring a cloud over the earth and the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh and the bow shall be in the cloud. And I will look upon it and that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living cr uh, creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is set upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Ham is the father of Canaan. Uh, these are the three sons of Noah, and of them wa uh, was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a, a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren, uh, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backwards and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unless unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord uh, God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God said, God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Canaan, shall be his, ser uh, shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and all of the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. I, 
I agree. This is kind of hard to read. Okay. Uh, try and get through at least chapter 10 and 11. Okay. So the descendants of Noah are Japheth, uh, whose descendants are Gentiles, Ham, whose uh, descendants include the Canaanites, and Shem, of whom came Peleg, in whose day the earth was divided. Uh, now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were born were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiris. And the sons of Gomer, uh, Ashkenaz, and Repath, and Tog Tog Togarma, Togarma. Uh, and the sons of Javan, uh, Elisha, Tarshish, uh, Kittim, and Dodan Dod Dodanim. Sorry, these are hard to pronounce names. Uh, by these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, uh, every one after his tongue, after their families and his nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and uh, and Foot, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, uh, Seba, and Havila and Sabta, and Ramah, and Sabteca, and the sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dadan. And Cush begat Nimrod. Uh, he began to be a mighty one in the earth, and he was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore, it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of this kingdom was, uh, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Eric, and Akkad, and Calne in the land of Shinar. Uh, out of that land went forth Ashur, and builded Nineveh, and the city of Rehoboth, and Calah, uh, and Rezin, between Nevaeh and Calah, the same as a great city. And Mizraim begat Ludim and Anamim and Lahabim and Nafutuim and uh, Pathrosim and Kazluim, uh, out of whom came Philistine and uh, Kaphtarim. And Canaan begat uh Sidon his firstborn and Heth and the Jebusite uh and the Amorite and the Gergesite and the Hivite and the Archite and the Sinite uh yeah they definitely like genealogy did I okay Apparently my Wi-Fi just went out, so I'm double checking. Am I am I still good? Uh, blah. Mm. Okay, we'll finish this up and then I'll uh, double check. Uh, Archite, the Sinite, and the Arvite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathite, and afterwards were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. Thank you. Uh, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, and thou comest uh, to Gerar unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Admah, and Zeboim, uh, even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem, uh, also the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, and the elder, uh, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Alam, and Ashur, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, uh, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash, and... Arphaxid begat Shalah, or Salah, and Salah begat Eber. And unto Eber was born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, and in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was 
uh, Joktan. And Joktan beget Almadad and Shalef and Hazarmaveth and Jera. And and Hadaram and Uzal and Dikla and Obal and uh, Abimael and uh, Sheba and Ophir and Havila and Jobab. Uh, all of these were the sons of Joktan and their dwellings was from Mesha as thou goest unto Sephar, a mount of the east. Uh, these are the sons of Shem after their families, uh, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. Uh, these are the families in the son of the sons of Noah after their generations in their nations. And uh, by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Okay, uh, just enough time. Let's go ahead and get to the chap uh, the Tower of Babel. Uh, all men speak the same language. They build the Tower of Babel. The Lord confounds their languages and scatters them all over the earth. Uh, the generations of Shem include Abram, whose wife is Sarat. Abram leaves Ur and settles in Haran. Okay. So, and the whole of the earth was one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, uh, go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime uh, had they for mortar. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower uh, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, uh, lest, lest we be scattered abroad like the faces of the whole of the earth. Um, and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one and they have all one language. And this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which, uh, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and, and there confound their language, which they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from, uh, from thence upon the face of, the, of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, uh, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begat Arpoxid two years after the flood. Shem lived after he begat Arpoxid five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Arpoxid uh, lived five hundred thirty years and begat Salah. Arpoxid lived after he begat Salah. 403 years and begat sons and daughters and Salah lived 30 years and begat Eber. Uh, Salah lived after begetting Eber 403 years and begat sons and daughters. Eber lived four and 30 years uh, and begat Peleg. Uh, Eber, li Eber lived after he begat Peleg 430 years and begat sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years and begat Ryu. And Peleg lived after he begat Ryu 209 years and begat sons and daughters. And Ryu lived 230 years and begat Sarug. And Ryu lived after he begat Sarug 207 years and begat sons and daughters. And Sarug lived 30 years and begat Nahor. Uh, and Sarug lived after he begat Nahor. Uh, 200 years and beget sons and daughters and Naor lived nine and 20 years and beget Tara and Naor lived after he beget Tara and 119 years and beget sons and daughters and Tara lived 70 years and beget Abram, uh, Naor and Haran. And these are the generations of Tara. Tara beget Abram, Naor and Haran and Haran beget Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chalde Chaldees. And Abram and Naor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife is Sarai, and the name of Naor's wife is Milcah, uh, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child, and Terah took Abram his son. And Lot, the son of Haran, uh, his son's his son's son, 
and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, uh, his son, Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur to the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. So that puts me right at the hour mark. So we're going to go ahead and mark this at chapter 12 for next time. Let's find a decent bookmark. That'll work. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and throw out the... Streamyard. Uh, anybody that wants to come in and discuss, you are more than welcome to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take myself off camera. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and ask. Uh, don't even bother having your camera on. Uh, it'll keep it from having to. It'll keep me from having to worry about getting porn bombed. But. Okay, well, at least I know who this one is. How are we doing? All right. Okay. So, uh, Genesis chapters 1 through 11. So, everything up to the Tower of Babel. Well, I mean, that was quite long. I mean, that yeah. was uh, uh, almost an hour. <laughs> See, because usually when we discuss stuff in the actual meetings, it's usually like, usually what to discuss like, like a specific little... A ethical pattern or a particular like concept or something like that. You know, I've never seen somebody do a straight read through the entire your know, book before. <laughs> well, oh. I mean, I uh, I was doing the same thing with the or I I kind of did the same thing with the Epic of Gilgamesh. And I figured you know I'd go ahead and uh, read for a certain amount of time and then go from there. I didn't actually realize I would get that far in. <laughs> uh, I mean, skipping all the the kind of needless genealogy because uh, there, there's not really a whole lot you can gather from that. Well, all the begats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I said, like, um, if you go to, for example, like, if you go to, like, the Gospels, they're all full of begats because, you know, yeah. like, it's a, um, I mean, I, as I said, like, the thing is with Genesis, it's, it's a poetic story, I think, of, like, Jewish history. For example, if you look at, like, you know, Look at the Noahic flood, or you look at, for example, uh, Adam and stuff like that. It's all about like you know people that they know and stuff like that, and you know the um, you know the the the, the book of you know, the the book the knowledge of good and evil that sort of thing. It's all about you know how humans get themselves in the bother, and you know God is trying to persuade them out of that bother, you know, because I and I think that. If you look, for example, <clears throat> someone like G-Man, who takes all this woodenly literally, he has to believe that, uh, for example, that that the flood was global, even though the word that was transliterated incorrectly actually means local. Um, I forget the word is Erst, I think, uh, which means I think it just means land or, or look, you know, means land or. Or, or pasture or, or growth, whereas the word world is erotzed, which is very close. I mean, and, it, and it's very understandable why the people who transliterated the King James Bible, you don't know, got that wrong. There we go. Ooh. Howdy. How are we doing? Howdy. Do you want to turn my camera off? So you, you said something no, 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 no. about that. Okay. I mean, if you no, want to just, uh, no, just for the people I don't know. Oh, I mean, okay. I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm fairly confident you're not going to porn bomb me. No, I'm, I I actually just wanted to pop in for a little bit because mm -hmm. I headed out to the woods to film some stuff. So, oh, sure. uh, but uh, I don't know, like, um, I got a lot of questions, but I don't know where to pin them down uh, with this. Because uh, I, I heard the you were reading it straight through. And, well, if you read the Bible straight through, it kind of doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. No, it you, doesn't. If you if you go from um, lesson to lesson, that's kind of what I was saying in a comment about the sermons, because the sermon is more of a lesson. It's taking a part of the Bible and being like, look, here's what it teaches, and here's what we should think about, and everything like that. And you, if you break it up like that, yeah, you can definitely follow the faith, but you can't read it 
as a story. It doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, it's, uh, I, I mean, that's that, that's kind of the point that I was wanting to make is it's basically like a weird amalgamation of a, a genealogy list and just a lot of allegorical poetry. Right. I, I, I thought of it as like a uh, think of like a manila folder, not like the ones like this, not with the flap, mm -hmm. just filled with um, old historical documents. And then you have to put them all together and read them out and it's everyone else's accounts and you have to put it all together where you think everything makes sense and this is the best way that it makes sense but it really doesn't yeah because there's so many questions and i mean i i still haven't gotten the answer from g-man of what was the maximum elevation of land at, at the time of the flood because i mean whether you believe in a global flood or not you have to know the maximum elevation and the displacement of the barge in order to make sure it handles safely in a swell. Yeah, uh, I mean that, that's like, kind of the point. I, and I mean, I was trying to I was trying to pin him on the fact that it uh, the actual flood story mm -hmm. was just uh, it was pretty much just ripped almost directly out of the Epic of Gilgamesh. Right. Um, right. But yeah. go ahead. But I mean, that's not true. I I've never read the epic of gilgamesh so i wouldn't well, know directly go ahead well uh, th this idea of boring stories is nonsense and actually there's a there's a really good um if you ever want to read it um, this is very academic so it might be a bit dry for you uh but there's this guy who who's not a christian by any means trust me like you know a lot of fundamentalists have tried to quote to him this guy as their own trust me he hates christianity and which is like the most fair and atheist um but he pointed out, uh, his name is Johnson Z. Smith, he does like comparative religion classes. So what he pointed out is a lot of stories have what we call syncretism. That is, for example, if you're around a body of water, you're going to have a flood story. It's like if you're, it's like, it's like, for example, it's like how we get, for example, elephants into different places. Like we get ones in India, ones in Africa. Yeah. But they have different ears based upon the different environments you have. The thing is, is that you got a Jewish flood story. Actually, has probably more in common with the Mexican one than he does with the Epic of Gilgamesh. Now, did they go to Mexico? Of course they didn't. So again, they they do just near the Mediterranean, which unfortunately floods. And and that that's the sort of thing that George Smith would point out. And plus, me, he does not like Christianity because he points out that the reason people don't want to address things on their own basis is because they want to disprove a certain religion. Uh, I'd actually, I'd, I'd recommend you read that cause he he goes into more detail than I'm able to because you know I'm not an expert by anybody's, you know, being you know I'm not I'm not G man here who pretends to know things that I don't. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm as much as a layman as you, especially when it comes to the Bible because, well, I never grew up in the church or anything. I barely read patches, passages in the Bible, but I know enough about it to. To, to have a simple question and you know and i appreciate if you can type out the resource that you gave me in the chat so that i actually have it and i can copy it uh because otherwise i won't remember i have taken a few hits to the head oh, yeah here <laughs> uh here uh gary i'll go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and make you a moderator you can actually just pin it right there in the in the oh awesome chat. perfect i'll be able to i'll, I'll copy it on uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put your private chat for you awesome let me see uh, yeah, 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 as I okay. said. Uh, all right. Um, but yeah, uh, the. But, but the thing is, the thing is, is that um, what Jimon tries to do, he tries to make you convert right there and there, where I don't try and do that. Again, because the thing is, is that we can all have our perspectives and they're all valid mm -hmm. to me. Because again, uh, I mean, maybe over time I can bet you to change your mind, but again, it's going to be little bits at a time. It's not going to be all at once because, again, I'm not G man. I, okay. I don't think that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Uh, and, again, and I want my mind to change. Hey, if hang I make on right just thoughts. a second. Uh, I'm getting an echo. Oh, sorry. It, I was about to say, is anybody else getting the echo or? No, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm in headphones. I'm well, hearing it. A, I'm hearing it a little bit, but it's. It, it just sounds like uh, it's coming out of someone's phone from like behind them. My phone's off. 
Yeah, mine's mine's not on. I think it's just, I think it might be just someone's headphones. Maybe mine are up too much. No, uh, let me just turn mine down a little bit. One sec. Yes. Is it going down a bit? I'm not. I'm honestly not even distracted by it. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I I've heard it, but it's minor to me. I don't know if it's a big distraction to ape or not. But yeah. Um, I'm sorry. The, I'm the, sorry to. to no I'm sorry. Take us. Chat saying that there's no echo. So. Okay, okay. but. The thing, the thing is with the Bible, it's it's different types of literature. It isn't just what one type of literature. And that's that's why I get annoyed with people like Jima because he he is, despite what I've told him, you know, he will not he will not kowtow to the fact that there's different type of literature in the Bible. Like he won't kowtow to the fact that there's poetry in it. He won't kowtow to the apocrypha in it. He won't kowtow to that, despite the fact that I show him. Both Christian and secular sources on this stuff. That 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 basically, you know, where there's the, you know, and, and, and I, I even go to people he you know, he likes, uh, but because Kent Hovind doesn't say it or Ray Comfort or something like that, he doesn't believe it. Okay. And yes, that that's what he does. Yeah, I know. G Man is, G Man's really hard to pin down on one point. Is is the issue that I have found in my couple discussions with him you can't pin him down and you can't because he is trying to get the entire story into you as he sees it and that's not i mean the the more i think about it the more i think about my interactions with the more it just reaffirms that i don't believe the bible and like you coming at me the way the way you're coming at me i actually want to learn i actually want to talk to you and listen so like you you I don't know that that's where the uh, disconnect is because you're actually teaching rather well, than. But yeah. I don't know everything. That, 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 that's right. The, that's, I, 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 I'm that's sure that totally there's, there's bits of the Bible excuse me, that that ape knows better than me. Again, and the thing is, I don't claim to know everything. I mean, as I said, I went through a little bit of Bible study and I did a little bit of comparative religion. I don't claim to be an expert on any of those things. Right. And I mean, uh, uh, go ahead. Sorry. No, sorry. Not good, Karen. I, I would, okay, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> talking. To, go ahead, man. Sorry. All right. Yeah. So I mean, uh, with with, with G Man, he's definitely uh, he's. I mean, I, I've been saying it for months now. He's a child. Uh, he, you can't pin him down on one topic because he doesn't know how conversations work. No, he doesn't. He he really doesn't. And um, uh, I I don't want to stick on G Man too much, but I want to yeah. give this little bit of uh, comparison. I know. He was taken to like the Natural History Museum in New York City, which I would love to go there. It would be an honor for me. But I can just imagine someone trying to read one of those small plaques to him, and he would just walk away. It's yeah, like, I I... guy, come on. It's just because the the other display is a little bit more shiny doesn't mean you have to go over there. <laughs> like, I, what I, If you've ever been to uh, Washington, D.C., go check out the museums. They're all free, and they're... They're amazing. I spent like twenty minutes uh, reading about lacrosse sticks. So, yeah, I, I, I went to um, I went to that museum that he went to. Crimson, New York. How are we doing? Oh, Hi. hey, Crimson. What's up? Uh, uh, yeah, I went to that one in uh, New York that that team I went to, and actually, I learned a lot in there uh, because again, like I think I've mentioned this before, <laughs> science education in the UK isn't great. At high school level, I mean, it is when you, you go. Try up, America. To, yeah, you should definitely <laughs> listen to America. Yeah. Oh, trust me, it's just as bad over here. Like, I did oh. not learn about evolution until, uh, huh. until I was like fifteen, and that wasn't from school. That was from a UK series that I've always touted, which is the Naked Ape, which is a brilliant series. If you've never, if you've never seen it, it's a great series. Uh, I don't know if it's on YouTube or anything, but. But it's 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 really great. Um, but the, the, the thing is, is that um, my beliefs. I try to be more educated about my beliefs because, again, I know that not everybody shares them or thinks the same way I do about them. Mm. And I think that that's that's fine. It doesn't make them untrue. It just means that other people don't see them the same way I do. So I'm sure there's things that you believe that I would disagree with. 
Does it mean I think you're a bad person for having them? It's no, it's... It, oh, I was just going to say, it's not about the... Uh, necessarily the belief itself it's the application of that belief because you could be a christian and be an all all around good person but you could do the same thing as an atheist but at this i mean you could be a, a shitty person either way so and the the it's the same thing as like um a little bit ago someone called me islamophobic because i told someone who I didn't know was Muslim that they believe in a book of fairy tales. Okay, I'll stand by that. I still believe you that you believe in a... Uh, still think you believe in a book of fairy tales written by men, but, like, that doesn't make me think that you your beliefs are not worthy. They shouldn't... That, that I should re or reject any them. Or ridiculous than anybody yeah. else's. Yeah, thank you. That, that's a really good way to put it. I really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I could say that I think that atheism is silly, which I do. But again, does it mean that I think totally you're fine. silly? I could think. No, but no, again, no. Does it's... it mean that I think you're a bad person or anybody who's an atheist? I just don't right. agree with there not being a god. Does it mean that again? I'm right. No. It, the 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 uh, what it boils down to is um, if. Uh, essentially, if the if the shit hits the fan, can we work together on a specific goal? Uh, a specific goal, and Absolutely. Uh, you know what? I don't think anybody in here, any one individual, or let alone the group, could work with someone like G-Man or any of the lol cows to work towards a specific goal because it would be well. We have to teach you how to do basic shit. <laughs> so. so. This is actually an interesting topic topic for me because there is somebody in my life who is very religious, and um, I'm trying to get to know her in a better way, um, in a better way. Um, and it's interesting some of the conversations that we've had. So one of the biggest things that I've actually said is that a lot of people hold on to religion because of fear of the unknown. Yes, and it's mm -hmm. not even to say like they're afraid and. People who are not atheists, who people are atheists or not, it's like, no, we share the same fear. We don't know. And some people manifest that in a different way. It's not the old oh, religious people are suffering from mental illness. Oh, like, no, it's just like, I understand that fear. What do I use to deal with it? Well, I just realize it's nothing that I can deal with it. Some people have to hold on to belief. And yeah. The sad part about it is it's in this is may sound come off condescending, but when you see a religion that uses the same mindset as cults of if you don't believe, then you're not a true like you just in the dark. It's it's self reaffirming that, yo, these people don't believe because they're they're just lesser. And, they're, and what was funny is because I was having a conversation and I was like, well, that's some of the things that she was mentioning had hints of Calvinism and I'm like yeah that just sounds like it's all predetermined and she's like no I don't like that Calvinism stuff because it takes away your free choice and it's just like but it's contradictions in the dogma that has been built up around the Bible in most of the Bible God is not all knowing he is no, very no. powerful but he's not all powerful and even if you go back to Genesis when you're reading it, it's a story based off of other texts that mentions other gods, not mm -hmm. the post hoc injection of, oh, no, God was talking to the Holy Spirit and Jesus at that time. Like, no, it mentions other gods. Yep. And it's just like <clears throat> they I've literally been told that, no, they copied it from the Bible, but it's older. They still copied it before it was, or they they got it wrong. I'm like, but it's older. The thing that got me when uh, Carnivorous Ape was reading was my my immediate question wasn't because um, oh, I know I've seen the atheist meme of like, well, how did God create light if three days had passed? No, no, no. God created time after three days had passed and that makes no fucking sense well with yeah, God, yeah. How, all things are possible well that that's here here's my my problem is it's like i i agree that yeah yeah 
with God, all things are possible. But at the same time, why would God be so inefficient? God is probably the most inefficient person that I've ever met. And I would never want that want God to be like working for me. Wait, 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 wait. That's your limited human understanding. That's what it is. It's from your pride. It's from your limited human understanding. You don't know how great God is. Yeah. Even well, though we come up with better ways all the time. I'm, anyway, yeah. but go ahead. <laughs> well, uh, un until uh, God shows himself, I will just uh, con continue to reflect his impotence upon him. The, so how the, about that? The bad part about uh, it is it's not that it shows that his ways are so more mysterious than all the others like no when you look at the bible it's very common to what all the other people believed in the area it's yeah. not it, and the only reason why it seems so mysterious and so different is because you know you can erase a lot with the point of a sword yeah oh yeah and he, he, you know what you uh, you bring up the point of a sword and i've been actually running this through my head for the last couple weeks of like I don't quite understand how, like, uh, especially people of color and especially like Native Americans hold on to religion like Christianity because it's because it's because the black sword. people were Christians at the same time as white people were Christians. I mean, I, I, but the, the thing is, is like historically, we can look back and see that that was the that was the sword that held your ancestors down. You gleefully no, 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 wield it. No. As, like uh, no, no, no. It, black people were Christians at the same time as white people were. If we go back to like, for example, we're talking pre, pre fall of Rome. Okay. There, are, there are black Christians at the same time as white Christians. So no, I know what you're saying. I know exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, for, I, I'm, like, I'm, like for example, Coptic Christianity is a thing. And it's still a thing today. Well, like, let's, for example, Ethiopia. So let's Syria. let's uh, so, go, go ahead. Wanna, go ahead, Crimson. Say this. Some of the people weren't. So some of the slave trade were actually influenced by heavily um, Muslim areas. Oh, I, under, I know that. And so, like, and another thing too, if you tell somebody, and like we have a watered down version of this now, if you tell somebody their life depends on believing something, well, yeah, they're going to believe it. The, of if course. you tell somebody, even right now, if you tell somebody your job, the way you make money, is based on believing that there is no climate change, how many people in that case are going to believe it? Not a lot. Right, but here's the thing. Why do you believe it now? Because your grandmother did, and your mother did, and okay. their mother did. But right, 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 that. right. So you should have, so you should be given the critical thinking skills over time in order to reject the, because uh, it, it so when has see see, see wait, um hold on I, i'm getting of the u.s viewpoint. taught critical thinking besides blind <laughs> obedience uh, blind obedience and um well, <laughs> memorization that's it, it, see that's a gotcha question because it never has <laughs> see, Cri because a, critical thinking is the bane of religion no it's the same in england like Lots of black people are Christians, and I get your point. It's weird as hell because I, they were forced into being Christian, right? And they like, were um, forced to be Christian. Uh, they did not convert by choice, just like they weren't brought over here by choice. Like, like yeah. yes, you get one or two people that maybe did it because they felt like it. But same with England and paganism. Mm -hmm. They were forced at the edge of a sword, convert yeah. or die. Convert and get preferential treatment right. or why would be you, uh, outcast. And why are they still to do why do they still now they actually have the choice to go, yeah, I'm gonna um take part in the religion that my ancestors were forced to believe and give up every single part of their identity. Yeah. That why, just, uh, it just seems like a way that it's fucking still a way to keep them. Why would you hold the sword that slaughtered your culture as a symbol of pride? Well, and then hold it to other people's throats and say, convert. Right. And, and I'm going to actually point to a documentary that an African-American male did. It's called um, 
Oh fuck, it's on Amazon. It's called um a uh, question of religions. Damn it, I can't I can't remember the the exact title, but it's it's I've actually watched it on Amazon and it's one of those things where it's just like um it's like you're it's the it's the difference in people saying that okay, I'm going to use a example that some people actually may actually understand. So why is it that we force monogamy and heterosexuality on a lot of people oh, even religion. if they're not well it's not just religion it's a social pressure to believe in this it's what and makes it's true yeah, yeah that's a good point because it means if you say oh yeah i'm in a monogamous mono i mean sorry i'm in a polyamorous relationship with three women and then you're like oh um and it's like what what are the logistics it makes people feel awkward because they're like and they they're don't not know used how to, to act. It. Yeah. They're not yeah. used to it. And they but, think, well, because I'm not used to it, it's not right. Where it's like, well, it's no set right and wrong when it comes to that. It's just... It's like, what like, happens yeah, I, with consenting adults and as long as everyone's aware of the situation and what's going on, what's it your business? It doesn't affect you. Nothing to do with you. Why do you think about you know, it? You can... You can uh, complain uh day in and day out and scream at the top of your lungs about how you don't want three people in the same bedroom doing adult shit but at the same time like that's fine that's totally fine do it scream until you're you're blue and you fall and pass out on the street just don't legislate it out of my life have you met the republican party <laughs> of a mother i was in the army for 10 years yes i've met the republican party that's that's my problem with religion is i don't want it in my government uh afro humanist actually brought up a good point if you guys wanted me to read it uh that one. yeah the the problem is we're introduced to religion at a really young age and you're expected to believe without questioning you are vilified for questioning and that's oh god yeah that, yeah that's kind of what i was saying uh, critical thinking is the bane of religion because not critical thinking requires questioning no not at all because again uh again i was a convert so i mean i was an atheist when i was younger i'm not now because I questioned. So because the thing is, is I do you know, because people have their own. But in that background. case, you don't actually understand the premise of this at all. Yeah. Because no, we're don't. talking about people that were grown up in a cultic situation and forced to question. I went to a convent school when I was younger, and I went to a mm. Catholic private school. Mm. I questioned, mm. and I got hit round the head with a Bible. Bearing in mind, at the time, the school was also yeah, aware right. that I have a brain tumor. And the teacher still did it. It could have killed me yeah, because no, I questioned. So I'm going to say this, and this is going to lead to a point. So the movie I was talking about was called Contradiction, A Question of Faith. And a point is brought up in there where when you come up in certain households, God isn't some big man in the sky. God is your parent who said you better believe. And they will punish you if you don't. Because what happens is a lot of people don't like you questioning what they feel is right. Because if in like some people just are just go with it, but some people don't want you to question it because if you can question it, they can question it. And yeah. how dare you cause them to question what they believe? Yeah. Often because, these kids and, ask questions I, they've never thought of, isn't it? Kids ask questions all the fucking time. That's all they do. They won't shut the My hell up. My kid does it all the time. <laughs> like she's learning religion at I, school, and they talk about Islam and now a little bit of Christianity. But I got so pissed because the school didn't make perfectly clear that religion is the one part of school that it is not um facts it's beliefs people believe this yeah. is true. people believe this and so she was like but there's god and god is real now and, da, da, da. and i'm like why do you think that it's like because school told me and i'm like no 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 you believe what you want to believe do you want to believe that no okay then don't no, yeah. and I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, I'm all about people's agency for people. If people don't want to believe it, that's fine. As long as you don't judge others who do, and vice versa. That's the way I personally... Because, again, my I faith is... Why can't I judge you? Their actions. Like, if someone's yeah, religious and they're a dickhead, you're a dickhead. If you're not religious and you're a dickhead, <laughs> you're a dickhead still. Exactly. Well, okay, I, that right there brings me to a great point. Uh, see, G-Man thinks, like, the... the because I I've seen his whole chocolate atheist thing, that was absolutely hilarious. Oh, do you know what uh, happened? 
Yes, I, uh, that happened like seven okay, years yeah. ago. No, 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 no. Do you know exactly when it happened? Uh, I don't remember the exact date, oh, but I, uh, I know it was in 2013. No, no, it, it, it happened on Holy Week. It happened on Easter Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it did happen. Oh, on yeah, it, Easter Sunday is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so, um, so not only did he pretend to be an atheist, or oh, probably like probably actually, I, I, I think it's above Christmas. It happened literally on Easter Sunday. Yeah. I've never seen atheists be so hey. pissed off about something like that in my entire life, because even they hey. were like going, that's fucking ridiculous. Well, no, that, so, that was my point, though, is basically, you know, G-Man expected the atheist community to embrace him, and he was going to get a little bit of flack from the Christian, uh, the Christian community, and he was going to try and say, uh, or he was going to try and use it to destroy the no true Scotsman fallacy, mm -hmm. yeah, or some weird it thing like that. Makes no sense. I know it doesn't, but it's genius. It's even for you. Uh, point. <laughs> but th I mean, that's my point. Is you know, even if G Man deconverted, like honestly, uh, to an atheist, he'd still be a dick. I mean, yeah, I, 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 yeah. Not right. Wanna, you know, right. He's, he's not somebody I want to hang out. with. Yeah, I mean, imagine what he would put that fucking attitude he has on to next. Because it wouldn't that behavior wouldn't disappear. He would just transfer it, and he would be yeah. that. Yeah. See the awful thing about about something else. God, can you imagine if it was about his, fucking cycling? His his channel would still be the same languishing uh, pile of dog shit that it is because he never he doesn't put anything into it. It's the same circular. He's spinning. His, he's been spinning his wheel, no. wheels in the mud for forever. No. You guys actually are missing one thing. G-Man has told us exactly who he will be if he lost his religion. Basically a serial killer, wasn't oh, it? His exactly. true self? Yeah. <laughs> but 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 here's the thing. I that don't scary. I, I, could, I don't want my, my faith judged by G-Man because just be like, you know, no, I don't I'm totally, think anybody here is. No, I, I, think, I, I, I think I'm a thousand percent different person. Yeah. No, I'm like thinking, I said, I'm you, you and David percent. Anthony, you're both welcome to be here anytime you want to. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have no issues with you guys. I, I disagree with you, obviously, but I, I don't have an issue with you guys. Yeah, and, and the, thing, the thing is, is that, like, you know, people have faith for different reasons. You know, I have it because of my background. You know, atheists talk about, like, you know, their religious trauma and stuff like that. I have secular trauma because I was told for a very young age that I could ne not achieve anything. Uh, by people in the secular, you know, the logical community, they could go fuck themselves as far as I'm concerned. But, but see, that just sounds thing. like bullies, nothing to yeah. do with religion. This, that sounds like the same as anti theism. And you know what? Almost. I'm gonna say this because I deal with them a lot. Those are so it sounds like you were dealing with the people that like Sargon of Akkad, that piece of shit. That's, yeah, fuck Sargon. Or well, I, the, the armor, okay. sorry, I hate that guy. Yeah. It's a difference between a, not, and that's yeah. one of the things that I've actually had a discussion with my friend where it's like it's a difference between going against something just to be against something and trying to be just contrarian. If you're doing mm -hmm. something to just be contrarian, and that's like what a lot of that's the accusation that G Man does a lot. Oh, you just don't want you just hate God. It's like, no, my standard of belief, my standard of evidence is different from yours. Mm -hmm. And it's not black and white thinking. Mm -hmm. no, it's it's like, and the thing about it is, you can't introduce to some of these people like the concept of the American forefathers, where a lot of them were deists. No, they just mean that believe in God. And so they were Christian and they, like, no, they were with a lot of people walking around today are basically, um, I wouldn't say atheists, but if they're like, effectively atheists they believe in some higher power but they're spiritual and they didn't believe in and some of it is like contrarianism but some of it is really anti-authoritarianism g-man is an authoritarian he yes. he would love to he would love to come down he's an authoritarian all that freedom through love bullshit it's the same shit you see with authoritarians that's why throughout history when you see authoritarians they are all, every authoritarian are freaking religious or uses religion. People talk about the Soviet Union. I had somebody in my comment section talking about Mao Zedong. Like yeah. they literally kept religion in China. They literally kept religion in so, in socialist Russia. Russia. They Zeo just like. <laughs> God damn it! Sorry. Sorry. I was gonna say the it's, first thing I think of that is Puritans. Yeah, like, they were Jesus authoritarian. Christ. 
Yeah, I mean, religion is, is, I mean, almost inherently authoritarian because you have, well, you have a leader. God. Yeah, I saw that video a few days. But again, um, it's, it's, it's not an unquestionably, the thing is, is that, because uh, I mean, like, I mean, the thing is, in the in the church, in, well, not church, but the meeting house I go to, our leader is a woman, for a start, and she is very not an authoritarian. The only thing she's authoritarian about is what biscuits we get to have. That's as author- as authoritarian as she gets, you know. Like, right, but you know, it's it's God that's the authority, and she's the voice. Yeah, yeah, but again, but, yeah, but it's not an absolute. But the thing is that again, God, if God wants us to do something. He's all powerful. Again, the thing is, is that we can't question it. The thing is, it's about what we do on earth that that spreads God's you know, grace and the power above it. Because again, the thing is that, like you know, that's what Christ was about was about accountability for what we do and say. Because uh, the thing is, is that because that's how we spread His message. Because the thing is, <clears throat> what Gman doesn't understand is he wants to spread the message through violence. And I don't mean absolute violence. I mean violence of speech and violence of action. Because you notice, when, he, when anyone ever disagrees with him significantly, he'll try and drop, drop them, he'll try and threaten them, he'll try and, like, you know... Commi- Confrontation. He'll, 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 he'll yeah. threaten violence against them. I mean, I mean, even if you're a woman, he'll threaten violence against you. Oh, he... he G-Man... Uh, let's... I, I don't even want to mince that say, one yeah, up. He, G-Man he's, is he's a the, out and out misogynist. misogynist. He yeah. is a... He... The way I have heard G-Man talk to women, he would fucking... I'm not a big dude, but G-Man would catch hands. <laughs> it, it, if he oh, yeah. talked to a woman, let alone, like, uh, the woman I'm with, uh, the way he does. Because oh, I, I, uh, I, he I, is, I, he's a fucking douchebag. But from what I gather, like, the Bible literally gives the yeah. okay on that that's, kind of behavior. It says that he's allowed to act that way to non-believers. Truly, name a holy book holy book that doesn't do that towards, like, women. No, just about everyone does. Uh, oh, yeah, but the, I mean, like, G-Man, the way he talks about religion and how he acts for everyone. And you're yeah. saying, like, saying about um, he tries to talk to people with violence, but the Bible okays it, so... Yeah. So he has no problem with it because he got it from the Bible and the Bible okayed yeah. it, so it's okay yeah. in G-Man's But he kind of doesn't okay it because, again, Jesus himself says... Treat other people how you treat yourself. Absolutely, why didn't God God obliterate the memory of that part of the Bible then, if it wasn't meant to be used anymore? Like we didn't need to have a new and old testament. If God is all powerful, He could have just gone like, "Bye." Yes. Doesn't exist. No. Because because again, because because again, over two thousand years ago, every culture was trying to kill yours. Yeah, well, it's, it's, okay. it's okay. That doesn't no, have to, that UN, doesn't... We've got, we've got UN peacekeepers. We've got I mean, the U.S. National Guard. We've got the U.S. Army. We've got the U.S. Navy. We've got we've got, we've got literally thing, things that will protect smaller agent agents. You had to survive on your own, and if you didn't, you're going to get wiped off off the face of the planet. Gary, I mean, I'm yeah. sorry, man. I don't want to seem have as you're defending everything that we're. No, saying, no, I don't defend like, everything. The Bible. The, that, but the thing about it is, um, it's. If so, I'm sure everybody know who Dark Matter 2525 is. Right? I know who he yeah. is. Yeah. Yes. I did did we see that? Did we see that? Did everybody see that video um, where he's talking about Ben Shapiro? He's sitting. Um, Jeffrey is talking with Yahweh, and he's sitting back and saying, "Like, yeah, how many, how many, how many Israelites left Egypt? About the estimates is two million. If God was so powerful, he would have known that." Hey, this book is going to be used by other people far in the future. That's going to affect instead of just two million, seven, seven billion. It's not just a product of this culture that they have there. Why not show that this God is actually great by giving people culture that not only meets our 21st century standards, but exceeds it. If, if the word of God were inherent and omnipotent, it would not have changed, regardless of translation, at least in my view, because... It wouldn't have needed to be translated in the first place. Right, we, we would and have... would have allowed people to mistranslate it or utilize it falsely. Why, why do you and G-Man have a different interpretation of the word of God? 
because I'm an educated person and he man works at works at whatever construction site he's at this day. It's it's but the word of God. Standard. It's um, the word of God. Right. God right. spoke well, and said it. this. If God knew idiots were gonna read it, wouldn't he make it stupid proof? I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm not saying I, I don't want to impugn any of your beliefs. No, you but can, a lot you of Christians, okay. I but a lot of Christians believe the same thing. They just won't go to the same extremes as somebody in G-Man. Oh right. yeah, and I've met. No, I'm very one. stream about my beliefs. I'm just I'm very stream about the about certain parts of it. That's all. I, again, I don't believe that. For example, um, that we should be able to practice like G-Man does. <clears throat> I do because uh, like so because. You know, there's, there's this historical precedent for that. But, but yeah. why are there multiple interpretations of the word of God? Because there's multiple people in the world. But it's that doesn't one make God. sense at all. Can you explain what you it's, mean by it's that? It's literally the omnipotent, omniscient creator of the entire universe that cannot create a, a single message to its creation. But because again, we got social paths, we get psychopaths, we get people with, we get people with like you know proper like you know, radical and, and authoritarian. Or, or generally birth defects within the brain, or all, all attributed to God. Story, which so... again, God, God can make people not born fucked up. Can have not made me born with tumors in my brain and on my body, but he did. Wait, 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 wait! I got one better. He could have put that tree on the far side of the moon that he created. The tree of good and evil, of knowledge of good and evil. Took that tree and put it somewhere halfway across the Milky Way galaxy. Or, you know, just maybe given man the knowledge of good and evil. This is in book in first book. Yeah, yep. the fact that the very one of the very first books in the Bible is vilifying knowledge. Yeah, oh, and evil. that goes back. It, well, that goes back to critical thinking because if no. the Bible is the uh, is the inherent word of God and God speaks what is good and evil, well, then what is in that book is going to be what is good and evil, and we have changed over time throughout society as human beings to uh, rectify what truly is good and evil which is why we don't behead people on the streets anymore mostly mostly yeah, mostly at least uh, in uh you know non-theocratic uh, yeah. societies again mostly so mostly. I, bef before we get too far off topic here uh gary I, I wanted to i think i asked you before i just don't remember um the, your view on the bible are, are are you thinking or is the bible the actual word of god or was it still written by man it was written by man. Okay. Uh, because, so, the, for example, the King James Version. Um, does that, oh, I know. The, it's what, probably the worst translation. Mm, I disagree with that. But, uh, but I think it's a good translation because of what they had. And plus, if you read what the actual King James translators thought and said, they, they, I mean, they, they were they were, they were honest about what they, what they were trying to do and, and stuff like that. Yeah, See, what? the thing is, is that people... Don't want to read that who were King James old list because it would totally shatter their beliefs. Because again, because the thing is, is that if what they're saying, the people who wrote the King James Bible would not roll the nut jobs, but they weren't. They were actually smart, educated people. I, I, I mean, they were very theocratic. I mean, if you want to talk about theocratic, you know, they they would probably be talking about. I mean, they probably put G Man in the Tower of London and be talking about his execution. To be honest with you. But my question cool. is this. Did they have an agenda besides bringing the word of God to people? Probably. Uh, I mean, for example, there is there's talk that they were influenced by King James and the fact that he'd become king of of Britain. Uh, and people thought that they talk, took out the very anti-monarchist uh, readings that people had of the, of, of the text and took it out. Uh, I mean, it's well established that um, the King James Bible was heavily influenced. He literally said, yeah. write this in it. You have to say this. Well, I mean, I'm, um, I'm talking about the Bible that... in general, though. I mean, I'm, oh, going no. back to the original Council, uh, Council of Nicaea, that Bible, so, was that, that's, that was still written The Council of Nicaea was... did, did, did create a Bible. So it was written well, by men. Well, they canonized the books. 
No, they didn't. That that was that was a council of trade. So these sorry, are the, it was right. a council of trade. Sorry, basically, council of trade it, men. basically, it boils down to these are stories written by men. Well, you again, I, I think we'll have to agree to disagree on that. But you just well, said you believe that the Bible was written no, by man, not God. No, no, no. But yeah. I mean, I think God influenced it. But I think men wrote it down. Influenced I, I or dictated it. Influenced. Yeah, influenced that a, it. That's that's a major difference, though. Yeah. The, so, God influenced the word of man to write the Bible. Is that why it doesn't make any sense? Because if God dictated it and it doesn't make any sense, then that means God is essentially in, um, or in, impotent and nonsensical, or it was written by men and it's used to control people. Yeah, and the reason why it's so varied is because it's got each person's agenda laid in it. Right. That's why you can't... Especially the fact that knowledge is evil, because knowledge is what would make the poor people actually able to read the Bible themselves and learn and but no, not be held that's, down that's... by their masters, the intelligent people. And I'm not just saying masters as in like the transatlantic slave trade, I mean the plebs, the serfs, Right. All through history. Good example. Uh, Salzburg, Austria. There's a giant fortress up on the top of the mountain, of the mountain, and that's the uh, Salt Fortress, Salzburg, in Austria. Well, down at the bottom in the city is the church, and the church is magnificent, right? Because the church owned the salt that was in the the mines of that uh, that fortress, which they could flee to if someone attacked. The church made sure that people couldn't read so that they could have control, they could have that authoritarianism over that salt. It was a business. Like, it's just, it's, if you're going to tell me it's a book written by men, and I'm going to give you an example of how men use it to manipulate other men, where's God? Yeah. Well, pe people use things to influence it. it, it Again, people use everything to. Uh, blah, 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 sorry, people but this use is the inherent uh, anything word of God. To, 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 to. But again, I, I, for example, people could have Harry, the most... Why did he not strike them down dead for doing it? And for yeah, he, he allowed the church to prosper over salt, a life-giving like, substance at the time. Yeah, yeah. That that's the thing I don't get about the Bible and all that. If we, oh, let's take it on on the value of there's bits in the Bible that are written by someone who truly was influenced by God. And then there are lots of it that were just dickheads lying and saying that God told them this, but they're just evil. They're bad, whatever. I literally How did God it. allow it? How did God say, I'm, I'm just going to see how this plays out. I'm a bit bored. Let's see what happens. Why did he not just lightning bolt the fucker? Yeah. I mean, it all just goes back to the problem of evil. Why does God let bad things happen? I mean, it's... It, why, why, why do children get raped? Why can't, why can't God step in? Is it because he doesn't speak the language? Because they, they're reading the Quran or the, the Torah or they're an atheist or something like that? God can't speak directly to them? I don't understand why... Why God just like fucks off of everything that's bad and is only attributed to, you know, saving lives and uh, cancer, you know. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. He's also attributed to not giving what you want. I was watching this one young, um, one guy who was talking about, you can't disprove it. If God gives you what you want, then it's his word. If he doesn't, well, then he has a, he, it's his mysterious ways. I don't know if you guys heard of this guy called. Black atheist rants. He he is yeah he's <laughs> he's he's very um, what is it? Um, militant what, very God, militant yeah I've I, heard of the um, I've serious strayed way. from a little bit yeah. it's like, uh, oh, you what, break that kidney but uh, God decided in His mysterious yeah. ways not to give it to you and you're probably going to die but it's His mysterious way uh, to teach all your family around you about grief and. How to make you much closer to God? So sorry, your collateral damage, little Susie. So, how does it go? Uh, God always answers prayers. It's just most of the time He says no. That God answers your prayers, but it's just not always the answer you want. 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's it's like, well, you're you're omnipotent. Why do I need a lesson? And w- what's worse about this is when you you give me all these lessons, you're like, okay, we're gonna I'm gonna teach you all the way through life, and I didn't learn the lesson that you were hiding from me the entire time. Now I get to be punished for all of eternity. See, I don't believe that. Well, then I, 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 I'm sorry. I mean, go ahead. I, 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 Where you I believe... actually cherry pick the Bible. No, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, well, I mean that, that's fair. No, I, it, it's, about, it's about understanding, not cherry picking. Well, if I understand, if I understand that, the text, that's not cherry picking. That's okay. Then what, what would happen to me in that scenario? My my I'm, eternal soul. What would happen? Uh, again, it depends what you want. Per, again, did you want personally, or do you want certain? I, I can give you certain church teachings. Or I could, I could give you my own interpretation if you want. But again, it will be my own personal inter- interpretation. Thank you for answering my question. Why is it not clear? No, no, I'm, I'm asking. That's, that's I'm asking, the thing. If, if the point, the it should be clear. It's, why did you say there's your interpretation and then the church teachings? Um, right, it should teachings. be the God, same, especially if we're talking about people, the church teachings, religious people who are meant to be much better at this than you. No offense. Like they're the ones that studied it their whole life. They went to like church school and shit like that, like Seminary. actually to learn how Seminary, to yeah. officially <laughs> do the doctrines and everything. Like I love church school. Yeah, uh, I, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Go, go ahead, yeah, Crimson. It's just the it's the whole thing about it, and I, I, I and I, and again, Gary, I'm, we're, we're. I want you to know that we're not like saying these are questions that you have to answer. These are questions that, um, with a lot of people don't realize that atheists actually come up with, and it's not out of being mad. It's not out of like oh, oh you no, just, I'm like, curious as. Fuck, this I is, want to understand yeah, this. This is the critical thinking process. Yeah, the, these are basically the questions. No, no, no. I, I, I could, if, I, if I felt was with bullied or set upon, I would have left. No, yeah. don't, we, we right, didn't right. do that. But I just want to keep iterating that because I know we all seem passionate about these questions. No, no, no. I, right. and, so but, I'm not going to be a bitchy Brit. Come on, you know what we're like. I'm not being a <laughs> dick. You know I'm being a dick. <laughs> But 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 the, but the thing is right, and, and I, I'll I'll say this right. I understand that my background is not yours. Yeah, you could all come from <laughs> excuse me a negative place with faith that it could have led to violence in your family. Like I know that there's a lot of religious based childhood trauma. Like for example, people hit you know kids with sticks and stuff like that. You know, like Pastor Fred Phelps. You know, he beat, beat his kids with Phelps. I mean, for years. You know, when you ever you hear you hear them speak, you know, they talk about. You know the stuff that you used to do to them, and you can see the depth of trauma behind their eyes and stuff like that. It's just like that's yes, horrible. Literally, um, parenting yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, or, for, or for example, if let's oh, for example, if you're a plus, I, I hear in America again. I don't know if this is true or not. That a lot of religious people will disavow or disassociate from somebody who leads their faith, and I think that is horrible. So, uh, so I understand yeah. that my background. Is that again? My parents, uh, uh, what's the word? Rash- reasonable enough to let me come to my own conclusions. Again, Good. you guys disagree with my conclusions? That's fine. We're adults. We can agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah. That's great. And one of my thing is, and I want to actually just address this because it's something that you said, and I want to make sure I point it out. I was never somebody who had a tragic backstory. My life, relatively enough, is pretty okay. I've had some successes and failures but when one of the things that actually gets me about the christian religion is it's in, inherently so selfish and so selfish yes. and i'd i'd explain why i explain why okay because i have a good example too because i i, I think about it as far as you know how big the world is you have to imagine that the solar system is more than thousands of times bigger than that. When we think about how long it takes for the fastest thing in the universe that we know, light, to get from our close to our star to the closest star, it takes two years. Never mind the span of the the <coughs> galaxy, the local coast cluster of galaxies and the universe. But a being that is that powerful to rule over all of that is concerned about who I like to touch my pee pee. 
Yeah. yeah but, I, but, I, <laughs> I, but again, I, I'll, I'll say this for me myself. Again, I don't care who you go to bed with, as, as long as it, it, it means. But your for, God does. But do you but believe I don't that God, does, God does care and it's worth your You know that God doesn't. I don't believe God cares. Because again, so, because but it's because, in your Bible that God does. Uh, but, care. but the thing is, is that uh, actually, and this is something that you might want to look up. There are actually gay prostitutes in yeah, in yeah, Israel at that time. Yeah. In I mean, was fucking Jonathan, we and did. actually, they were part of the temple. They actually did. As so, far as I knew, the um, "Thou shalt not lay with no. a man as if a woman" is actually a mistranslation. It is a mistranslation, and it mm-hmm. speaks against gay pedophilia. It does, yeah. Specifically, not homosexuality homosexual pedophilia the caveat that just because it's not a woman just because you can't have a incest baby doesn't mean you get to do it it's still bad and like that was the caveat it's saying just because you can't create a baby that has like deformities because it is um incestuous doesn't yeah. mean you get to do it yeah and so like uh, and, and, and part of the church well the, the temple service was that guys who liked other men's company which was a thing back then as it is now that that was something that the temple offered. So let's say, for example, you couldn't get, <coughs> for example, you, you couldn't go to the local bar. I mean, I've, I've seen the ad bars around then, or the local tavern, let's say, and, and get laid. They had temple, get basically male prostitutes for you to have fun with, and and, and, and the temple would cover your costs with that. Yeah, as long as you didn't hurt them or kill them or anything. Oh, wait, here's the thing, yeah. though. Uh, temple the temple thing. history is interesting, and but that's just one example. That's just one example about whether or not I eat a pig or if my clothes are of mixed fabrics or ooh, yeah. ooh, 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 if I stew a baby goat in his mother's milk. Uh, yeah, we can do this another 600 times. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. It's, imperative. It's, 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 it's so self-centered because it's like the God of the universe cares about me. And my my faith is so important. Like one of the things that turned me from religion is like, yo, like, okay, fuck me, but what about everybody else? Now I'm inherently a socialist, so that's something else. But the God that claims about the God that claims about like laying down your life for for others. But damn, like. What about the others? Like, it's yeah, easier. It it's easier like, for you to die than just yeah. like make sure people have bread. So I you, find you, it so weird that God. Uh, um, sorry, go ahead. Now. Okay. Um, I find it so weird that I could be a wonderful person my entire life, never in trouble with the police, never this, never that. I could do an all de- like dedicating my life to charity works, um, because I don't believe in God. And I don't pray to him. I will go to hell. But if I am a normal person, look out for myself, pray to God, skirt the minimum, I will go to heaven. And I find that so narcissistic. And I, I was just gonna say, like the the selfishness part. I when you're when you're going through something rough, like especially like a grieving process. If it comes to me, don't tell me I'll pray for you because that's just going to piss me off. All that's all you're telling me is I'm going to go make myself feel better about the situation. Yeah, that's it. It's selfish. It's it, it's and that's that's what I think. Like that's what I think prayer is. It's a it's a meditation to make yourself do a little bit better. And if you no, no, need no. that in your life, if you need no. that meditation by all fucking means, go ahead. But it, it if you're gonna you know, ascribe that to me getting better. That's not. That's not how it works. You didn't do anything. No, 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 you made yourself feel for. better. No. Well, well, yes. Well, I mean, well, then what is prayer for? It doesn't it's, do anything. It's but to help, it, it's to give you. It's to give you the impetus and God's help to. Bro, to you be didn't do. That you, are, you did fuck the, all the, for the, me. The, <laughs> yeah, but no, no, if you but say the, the it's an atheist, you be- oh, I'll pray for you. Then what the fuck does it mean? Like, yeah, no, but but think, Dude, the thing is, I don't. Here's, have, I, have I said? Have I said okay, that in on, this entire talk. conversation? Again, I don't do that because I think it's condescending. 
That's fine. I get. I, I plus, if if I did pray to you, I get. It wouldn't be because I want because I want you to convert, or I, I'm oh, I'm trying like to. It, it's it's generally because you know I'm trying to give you my strength in a very difficult situation. But because again, if someone like, wants to I, pray I, for I, me, I'd be I, fine. I, I, I don't say I pray for you. Like but again, it's not meant as a condescending thing. It's trying. It's trying to help you get through a difficult situation, even if you don't think it's valid, which is fair enough. You don't have to believe that. So, so again, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you, you get through a difficult situation. I'll... Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask Go this. Ahead. Let me ask this. Sorry. Sitting with me is helping me do a difficult situation. Being a mm. shoulder to cry on yes. is helping me do a bit different situation. Fuck, could give me a meal when I'm just what? like, yo, but. I get what, so here's the thing, and I, I, I don't want to, like, this is the thing, and I know from, like, the Christian's perspective, because they've been told that all you need to do is pray and have faith. So I get why people say that, but it's just like, it kind of washes your hand up. No. Yes. No. no. Look, here, here's, here's, here's my, I, and I've said this uh, a bunch of times on my channel, when someone's dealing with uh, something like death, the, the best way to to deal with those that person is to reach your hand out and wait till they reach back. That's the point when they really want and need your help. And then you give everything that you can, but you don't tell them, I'm going to pray for you. Because, it, you know what, that's just saying, I'm going to go somewhere else. I, I kind of feel shitty about this. Uh, let me know when you, you need me or whatever. That's way worse than being like, hey, I'm here for you. Just, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to, you know sit here all day and cry with you. I'm not going to knock on your door every every day after you lost your grandmother, but I'm going to tell you, hey, my phone number's there. Call me. That, that That's where we're at. Give me... I will do things for you. I will actually help you out and do actions for you rather than doing something in the security of my own home that only I know actually happened. But, but the thing is that the whole, th the whole point prayer isn't about not doing anything. It's about how give the strength to do something because they think the thing is, is that, oh, that, means nothing, that you, really. you, yeah, that like, as you saying i'll pray if you doesn't give me any kind of strength doesn't yeah, but do I, anything I don't say that it's literally I, the same I, thing I, as I, uh, I, I, if i can do anything let me know no but the, the thing the thing That's is actually that, that that is more uh valuable but, at but, least to but, me yeah, than prayer at least it's but, tangible I, yeah like you can it, actually it, say like, okay i'll reach out when i need you thank you but saying oh, i'll pray for you is like Great, thanks. I'm glad you're doing something to make you feel useful in this situation, that you can do something, but not actually offer to do anything because right. you just want to give yourself head pats, being such a wonderful person and make yourself look like the shining but pillar of the community. I, but I don't agree with you do you to pray for them. Because again, you, it says in the Bible to pray in secret and to, and to worship in secret. Well, so so how, exactly, how the fuck do does it. that help don't me, dude? Me. But again, it helps me to help you because again, God has no, given me Exactly, help it helps you. you. Help it you. helps you. Okay. It doesn't help me at all. If you were to sit here no, no, and like it, actually it like sit and pray with you. me, that would be what, different. What help because people go through their own shit. No matter what, if you say it to me or not. So it's nothing to do with that. You telling the person I'll pray for you is solely a selfish egotistic but I don't tell people that because if you pray in private or if you tell me you're going to pray for me God would still do it if he was going to do it so the reason and the only reason that you would say to someone's face I'll pray for you is to get yourself a nice pat on the head no that, that again I don't tell people I would pray for them if I pray for but them I pray for them in secret the point? yeah I defended the point that again just because some Christians say that not, doesn't mean that all Christians say that Okay, cool. We uh, we understand that. So why are you defending the, the, the point, point of it? It's not you. You're defending the point like it is you. You could have just said, I, I agree. That's I don't do that. That's stupid. That's not a thing. No, no, I, I, I would so, say that. Someone's it, is, it, it, is, it is stupid, but again, what I'm saying is that prayer in of itself isn't about making yourself feel better. It's about giving you strength to help somebody. Because again, sometimes you go through your own shit. So, I mean, I get. I, you, I, have, okay. I, I, I have. Okay. I have, okay. I have, you, I have my, you, Gary. You, you say a lot of you in that sentence, not they. Gary, if I if I come to you, you know, I I, I drive home, you know, I park in my driveway, and I'm where I'm. All of a sudden, I'm wearing a suit. And you're like, oh shit, this guy's something's happened. You walk over to me, and you're like. Hey, uh, what, what's going on? What you got a job interview? And I go, no, uh, I unfortunately I, I I just lost my mom, yada yada yada, and uh, it's it's really hard. We got stuff going on with the family, and you know a lot of a lot of a lot of legal stuff, whatnot. You telling me I'll pray for you? What does that do? 
if you if you just walk inside get on your knees and pray and in private that doesn't do anything for me if you say well hey man here's my phone number if you need anything i think i might know like a lawyer from back in the day look even if it's just you want to come over and talk i'm fine with that just just come over and we'll we'll uh we'll do something we'll have a beer oh we've got a todd in the chat which which one of those is more effective in the long run both can be effective because again as i said people People tend to, again, I, I'm going to speak for myself here, so again, I can only speak for myself. <clears throat> but again, I go, I have a lot of mental health issues, okay? Okay. That again, that get in my way of doing shit. Now, the thing is, when people tell me, oh yeah, my mum just died, my dad, again, I try and be them in the moment for them, but sometimes prayer helps me in you know, making sure that I'm yeah. there for that specific person. At the exactly. Because my God, point you're you're to... admitting you're praying for selfish reasons. Yes, you're not you're praying, praying for you. you. It's I'm, 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 you. I'm Look, dude, to I'm to help that person. I'm not trying to jump down your throat, but like you're you're, you're basically it. explaining the fact that it's a meditation for you to, in order to be able to uh, properly handle the situation because it's not a an, an easy thing to do. But you're not doing anything to help the person except in your own mind. No, but I'm getting started to help that person because the thing is, because again, the worst thing to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is say or do something that makes that person either feel bad, makes them feel that you don't, you're not listening, I don't care, or third, or you're making it about you. Because again, that Which person is, exactly is going through their pain. what we're saying, I will pray for you, does. No, yes. but I don't think it does. It, 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 again, but again, I don't say that. There are, there are Christians who say that, and I think they're bad people for for saying that, so, they so, don't. I think so, we can agree wait, on that point. Wait, 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 because I think people are talking past each other. And mm. let me just explain what I hear. So, with SML and, and, and Forrest is saying is this, like, when you say that I pray for you, you are literally saying that I'm asking for something that's going to, yeah, of course, it's going to tri tri trickle down to other people. And Gary, what you're saying is like, well, I have to ask for the strength. And what it the point is, it's like even just saying, like, hey, I'm here to listen. Even if you're going like, dude, like sometimes crying with people and understanding their pain without trying to solve it is more helpful than just like I'm I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, you can't yeah. fix someone dying. Like nothing you do is gonna bring the dead person back. Fucking let me be sad. Help me out. Yeah. Make sure no, that I'm eating. Make sure that I've listen. actually washed that day or yeah. something actually helpful. Then oh, there, there's, actually, there's actually there's actually a good I'll, I'll uh, comparison right here in the chat. Then I'll pray for you because at least that means you're thinking about me, which means you're thinking to make sure I'm okay, which means you probably may or may not do something. But I'll pray for you means nothing to me because yeah. for one if someone says that to me they don't know jack about me or they don't care about my thoughts and feelings on the matter oh, because i'm obviously not christian so why would oh, a christian say oh. that like oh, it means it's inherently selfish and that just gets to me like don't a power of prayer discussion i'm in yeah <laughs> todd, <laughs> todd is significantly older than i had ever imagined stuff with meditation said just meditate just meditate oh did you know you can rewrite your dna if you meditate so I'm like oh yeah pray to god to not be sick good luck yeah that's and that's why we have wait, vaccines wait, wait, right wait 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 you guys know that god never puts more on your shoulder than what you can bear <laughs> It, so, that's true. That's true. Okay, if I went a bit too far, God, you put so much on my shoulders, you made my spine yeah, yeah. a bit fucking crooked. I mean, like, <laughs> all my shoulders ain't that broad, God. <laughs> like, all, all those people that kill themselves, well, then, you know, they were just weak. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The thing about it is, I, I get if you are, I get, I understand if you have to hold on to belief. So like, one I, I, the mm -hmm. thing about it is, I, it, we all hold on to certain axioms. Some of them are based on certain things. Some are based on others. Uh, my axiom is that you know, um, um, a functional. I'm a functional atheist. If they're like, I really am absurd, absurdist, and that's a real fun philosophy to have. 
just like imagine like it's like uh, I created the universe. I didn't create it for you guys. You was just a product of the shit that I said. Oh, down shit. And- <laughs> like- oh, you you and I are gonna get along real well. <laughs> so you like a uh, Diogenes sort of I type mean, of philosophy. Like, I I don't know who that is, but I think I read him when I was going researching the absurdism. Dude who lived in a barrel, told Alexander the Great to get out of his son. <laughs> <laughs> He's the the quintessential just like um, uh, he 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 had a uh, a begging bowl that he used to eat and drink water, and he once saw a man drinking with his hands, so he discarded the bowl and just started to use his hands because it's just well, why have the bowl? You know what the funnest Alexander the the, the great story that I've actually heard? He couldn't so, conquer Afghanistan. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's even worse than that. So Alexander. Captures this pirate. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? You out here robbing people, stealing shit, interrupting trade lines. And the captain turns around and it's like, what the fuck are you doing? You out robbing people, interrupting trade lines, <laughs> stealing people. <laughs> what makes you better and not me? That's the that's, funnest one. That's that's a really good one. And you know what? That, that little story might actually be... Uh, there might be a connection between that and the Diogenes story where uh, basically Alexander the Great came up to him and just told him he admired him and he asked him, I'll give you anything in my kingdom that you would want. And uh, Diogenes said, can you please step out of my son? Wow. And it's just, it's the same thing. It's that same little uh, philosophy. So I think that might be one of those uh, historical Something that that happened to somebody that just sort of let's attribute it to Alexander the Great in multiple ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which that that would be fucking cool. Cause I mean that'd be cool if he did that. <laughs> let's just say he's that's some big dick energy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, and the last one that I know, I know of two ones. The one where he caught the guy who killed, De- um, I think it was Darius, and he was like, "What the fuck? He was my enemy, but you don't do him like that." And he like put him in a like tied him to a tree that was cut down and he let the release go and that was brutal um also the the one where there's like only the king can untie this knot and that's oh the gordian knot yeah Yeah. it's like slices it with his sword and he's just like and uh uh that night historically there was actually a thunderstorm and they attributed that to the uh, gods approving of uh, Alexander's mm-hmm. actions so he was able to continue on with uh, better morale in his troops. I guess the funniest thing I think about Alexander the Great is everyone thinks that the Library of Alexander was the biggest and best library in the world but it wasn't. Oh, no. No. The Library no. of um, Mount Sumasa, a yes. African oh. man that was in Sudan and he was so rich he's still the rich yes. considered one of the richest men yeah. in the world today he was so rich he on a road trip. Yeah, <laughs> he stabilized the Egyptian economy twice just by visiting because he gave up away so much gold mm-hmm. gold had no more meaning uh, 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 the same guy who quote unquote went on a trip across the big sea and was never heard of again um, no, that was the, that's how he inherited the throne. So the actual king went away on the trip across the big sea and never returned. And then um, Mount Sumasa was meant to be like in charge while he until he came back, but he never came back. So he was considered just keeping the seat warm. But oh. he lived his whole life as the king, basically. Sweet, brilliant. He's also he's uh-huh. the one that also um. Because his wife missed swimming, made all the people use their drinking water to build her a little bath to swim in while she was going to Mecca. Wow, what a what an asshole! <laughs> hey, uh, I actually I gotta get going. Uh, I'm sorry we we got off topic. Uh, no worries, Gary. Uh, more for Gary for because no, it's, we were, it's okay. You know, I mean, the thing is, uh, like you know, the thing is, like, I mean, I bought a few Christians who actually will come into this room, so. And again, trust me, I get it from the G-band end of it, things as well. So yeah. trust me, I can. I, you have to have a what's it, kind of stone to pull up with that idiot. So trust me, this was nowhere near that level because you guys actually have intelligence. I've got to admit, <laughs> yeah. like, it must be so hard being a Christian nowadays, not because of like atheists or anything, but because of the other Christians that are about giving actual nice ones such a bad rep, like um, the NIFB, like... 
um, Westboro Baptist Road, Church. Like yeah. all these other places that everyone sees because they're so loud. We're like, oh yeah, all Christians this evil. And then there are some nice Christians like dotted about that are just kind of like doing their thing and trying to be nice. And see, like, that's got okay, to be but, shitty. I do okay, admit. Phil, Phil, can I ask you a question? Are you an atheist or you're a pagan? Or? I'm pagan. Pagan, all right. The thing is, is that, like, you know, I ask atheists this, this question all the time. I mean, like, do you agree with everything that Richard Dawkins says? Because, again, like, because otherwise I'd have to ask, do you think that it's okay? Uh, if, you know, do you agree with his statement that all people with Down syndrome oh. should be aborted? You know, that, that sort of thing. Richard Dawkins and the God Delusion, those are not holy figures. They are not a central I part of I actually don't know atheism. anything no, no, no. about Richard Dawkins. That's... I'm not exactly like a... Um, Right. religious like, scholar yeah. i just wanted to come in to talk about a few <laughs> points because i know a little bit i'm not an like atheist youtuber or into that i know a little bit about what i know and i felt like contributing a little no, no, so, but, the, but, but the point was is that the, the good the, the, there's idiots and bad people on both sides is wait, that you, yeah. you know, and I try and judge right. people by their own merits you know the okay, day, yeah. you know, oh, atheists just tell me one thing about you you don't believe in god Whatever else comes after that, you know, we can we can discuss or whatever. But that always tells me one thing about you. It doesn't tell me what kind of person you are, you know, what 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 your temperament's like, you know, what you think is right, what you think is wrong. Or it tells me one thing about you. That's that's Where a would distinction. You say you're a, um, humanist that's, Christian. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's true, that's Gary. But uh, atheists don't have a series of tenets that right. link them together because of a book. No, no, I agree. Yeah, we don't. yeah that, that's. I think that's what he's saying. Effort, he's actually yeah. like uh, Gary's actually making sense because he. Yeah, like, the I only agree. thing we have, the only thing we have in common is atheism, and then yeah. well, but, then we can go our separate ways from there. Right. It's, 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 it's like, like then that's that's good because yeah. you understand it, but that doesn't translate across. Christianity, yeah. in, yeah. in a majority well, well, or Christianity, even oh, Christianity just means one thing: that we believe in God and we accept Jesus Christ as our teacher. Actually, there's some people who actually, Wait, actually doesn't even go that, that line. Actually, that. we just accept <laughs> Jesus Christ as our teacher. There are very, very Christians. Well, see, that's the who are atheists. When you when you say set Jesus Christ as our teacher, then you automatically set a dogma. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. There are great. There are atheists. There are no, no. There are atheists out there who accept Jesus Christ as a teacher, but don't put any weight in the holy version. So they see him the same way that we see Confucius or see, um, you know, Thomas, you know, you know, Hume or Voltaire or something like that. You know, they see him in that sort of same vein. They don't see him as a holy scholar, but just as a very educated and well versed man. Who, for his day, was sees things that they agreed with. Yeah, but there is a big difference between mm. saying, "Oh, this like um, this book on ten ways to improve your like day to day living with happy for with happy thoughts and like removing negative yeah. reinforcements from your life by bloody bloody blahs hippy dippy chick." <laughs> they have some great points. It's different from saying, "Oh, the church." The, like this group that I'm a part of say that this book is read this book by this woman is really good and we should learn it and then at, they're not this oh, oh, it's a really bad analogy that I'm trying to go and saying there are no infinite the punishments and saying like right. this book has good information in <clears throat> let's look at another book for good information and just do that then saying this book is the only book with the good information in, and this person said all the best things ever, and that's it. Yeah, that's my general problem with, with a lot of Christians, is they'll say, well, it says in our book that you shouldn't do this, and why should I care? Yeah. No, but again, that's for all. Like Jesus may have said some brilliant yeah. things. I don't know. I don't know what the things that he said, so I can't say either way. Well, but well, so well, is well. about a million other people that have authored books. It doesn't mean that I'm going to start bowing down and kissing their feet because they said a good thing once in their life. Well, right. you have, I mean, also have to remember, Jesus said, you don't have to worry about what goes into your mouth as far as making you sick is what comes out of your mouth. I, yeah. I guess he had COVID, right? Sort of. <laughs> did, 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 <laughs> about germs, did they? He <laughs> forgot all about germs. <laughs> He's all-knowing, all-powerful, just can't figure out germs. Being yeah, an atheist has... Yeah, us a heads up about the germs, like, we might have survived the bubonic plague. Yeah. Uh, 
being an atheist has absolutely nothing to do with Richard Dawkins. I read the Bible and it made me an atheist. A creator who needs the death of his son to save humanity is not a good creator. And I mean, that's just one example of why yeah. God is a, a horrible creator. No, no, well, because uh, the, 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 whole, the whole point about Richard Dawkins wasn't that, oh, yeah. it, that, like, that, that atheists use him as some sort of like prophet or anything that. The point was, he's a horrible human being who happens I, to be an atheist. You know, like for example, Peter Popoff is a Christian. The fact he's a, hu a horrible human being has nothing to do with the fact he's a Christian. He's just a horrible human being. Yeah. I, okay. I appreciate you saying that as opposed to he's not a real Christian. I do appreciate you saying yeah. that. No, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, that's it's, a more it's, 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 so <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know G Man thinks Matt Bill is a Christian. Well, oh, yeah, that's. Well, we know G Man thinks. Uh, Pedophilia is a lesser crime than lying, well, so no wonder. Well, the thing is, is that I was actually in rooms with uh, Matt Bell before everything came out about him, and it's kind of one of those things that I that does trouble my conscience because you know, you know, I mean, I know there's no way that I could have known, but it still troubles me that I was in the same room with that scumbag. You know what I mean? Well, like, it, I mean. If, if it makes you feel better, uh, recently one of the NCOs I actually deployed with, someone I actually looked up to, uh, was recently charged with over 30 counts of sexual battery to a minor. So, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Don't even... Uh, it's... Sometimes you just... Like, it's, it's... Two things I learned in the Army. In the Middle East, uh, if you want to just stop fucking with something... And Wait, just walk away. And that means, and oh, that, that's... At all? What's that? Leave and don't come back at all and let people rule themselves oh. by the land and that laws that they want to have. Fine. Yeah, and there's there's another thing, and it's this. It's cut, sling, load, and carry on. That means, like, when the when a helicopter is uh, carrying a load and it starts to swing, the, the pilot can cut that load to save the, the aircraft and the pilots and drop the load, and it's... Dude, when shit's just uh, getting to you, when Who something's too much, cut, sling, load, and carry on. Well, get rid of it. I'm a humanist. Anybody who yeah. professes to be a Christian is a real Christian. <laughs> uh, but but that does not st that, that's not a magical self for them being a perfect human being. We all make mistakes. We are just yeah. I mean, I've made tons of mistakes. You know, I've done things in my life I'm not proud of. The so, thing is, is I'm trying to tone and do better. So here's the thing. This is this is the, one of the biggest problems I have. Either you're a believer or you're not a believer. Yeah. You're you're all good or you're damned to hell. It's supreme goodness God or it's in the darkness. There, there's that a reason binary it's, thinking. <laughs> there's a it's, reason soteriology is a thing. Nobody that, knows what it takes to be saved. Clearly. That why you all disagree. It's just so it's limiting. And it's not limiting in the sense of, well, no, no, we just have this, this, the sheep, or well, the same sheep, and the rest are going to the wolves. It's like, no, because it pits you against other people that may even seem to have the slightest disagreement. Roman Catholic and Greek Orthodox, then Roman yeah. Catholic and yeah. Protestant. Like these wars were bloody because they each said, "You're not real Christians." or you're not real believers or you're really atheist and it's just like when you come up in a system that teaches you it's only one supreme it's 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 limiting it's it's just it's one of those things that causes very very bloody very very detrimental conflicts that last for no, but I, 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 think, I think it's I think <laughs> it's more to do with cultural and a significant difference is religious differences. Because, like for example, if you look what caused nine eleven, <clears throat> I think the very simplistic view is that Islam caused it. It didn't. What caused it was the fact that the Americans, what they would do is go into places which weren't supplying them oil, change the government to something that would supply them oil, and then stay there and piss off the, the, the indigenous population to the point that they wanted to go over and fuck you up. Right. That's exactly and, what And it was. was a tool that they used, besides exactly. money, that they convinced people that the others were inhumans and they were deserving to die. Exactly. I mean, it wasn't exactly. to me, I will agree with that, but I will say that it was more to do with money and the, the, the uh, lowering of the value of the, the oil fields in, in Afghanistan. The United States, got, 
the United States military uh, or United States government is really good so at creating is really good at creating I, uh, frustrated. Oh, I, I want to address this real quick. Okay. Um, even as an atheist, I, I will say that, yes, G-Man is a Christian. Unfortunately, he's, uh, yeah. I mean, he meets the qualifications. He professes a belief in, uh, you know, in God and, uh, and you know, Jesus is his savior and everything like that. Uh, the problem is with G-Man is he thinks that he is the arbiter of all who is Christian. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's, right. why, hey, hey, that's why we have issues with him. Here's here's uh, the... I would say yes he is. I'd say yes he is because he possesses belief, but in his actions and everything else, no. When I um Because he's a selfish, self entitled asshole. There you go. Well uh That's what exactly what I think. But he's using Gary, the when, religion when... to actually clothe himself and saying what he's doing is right. Right. When when uh people continuously use the, the meme of uh, G Man creates atheists. I, you know, it's not necessarily true, but in my mind, when I think of like the end state of Christianity, I think of G-Man and that's not anywhere I would, I would want to be. So why would I dip my toe into an ideology that's going to take me down a rabbit hole that would create myself into such a person that I don't want to be? Yeah, so deep it's, deep yeah. Well, I mean, I asked asked this question generally. This is not a trick Mm -hmm. question. This, if he was an atheist, do you not think he'd be just the same as an atheist? Wait, wait, wait. My my, my, my thing is, is like, 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 look, or live life or some some guy like that. So I will say this. I will say this. One second. It's not just. I I, I, I want to actually just say that with G Man, it's not just that. He's a Christian. He has the mindset that is folding into belief. If, like, would G Man still be a G Man if he didn't believe in Christianity and the way it's taught him to think? Yes. That's the thing. Like, if he got rid of that whole authoritarian aspect as well as the religion, would he still be the same person? But that's a philosophical question, and G Man right, can't that's... spell philosophy to save his life. <laughs> he, he couldn't even spell comrade, so. Yeah. <laughs> but we won't get into that because I got owned, apparently. Yeah. Oh, well, we caught that the other picture. day. He can't spell my name, period. So. Yeah. He saw that picture I made Miss Parker, and the best thing is the picture is of Auntie Jackie. <laughs> the woman that Miss Parker does the bridge of the all the trans time. woman, like, right? It's in the flow. It's in the flow. I'm putting oh, my pants yeah. down like a hole. <laughs> That's oh, Auntie I... Jackie, and she is a very beautiful trans woman. Yeah. And uh, G Man stole my picture that I edited specially for Miss Parker mm-hmm. of her head on Auntie Jackie's body. He, so he, he is a... actively. Yes. Advertising not only my picture that I made, but um, he t- that's no, true. He, here, here. he couldn't yeah. spell carnivore. He, cha- he changed this. my name the other day and then turned around and made me change yeah. it back because he couldn't spell it. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you this the that thing with G Man is like, I'm, I'm gonna be very <laughs> honest with you guys. I, and of course, we know he may be positive or something like that. He's extremely, extremely insecure about his own beliefs in christianity agreed oh yeah he's extremely extremely like when i hit that chat on gentleman pioneers channel and i can actually bring out certain things and it was one of those but i know this facts but i know this facts and it was like dude you're just like i've read the bible like you have i grew up in the church more than what you have Mm -hmm. but the thing about it is you don't know the bible as well as you claim you do Right, uh, he um, no, even his comprehension it, of the Bible is horrible. He man doesn't know he, anything he, he claims to know. I mean, come on, look at what he started chatting about um, indentured servants. Oh, he I, will I, go I've only back... got a half GCSE based knowledge of it from my, our standard history lessons, and I know about indentured servants from that, and I know more than him. G man and slavery don't get along, unless, <laughs> well, no, uh. Neither. Well, I'm just going to go to the Shani and Rev situation and figure it out from there. I, I mean, like, whenever you don't understand the difference between wage slavery and actual slavery... He doesn't... Look, 
he doesn't understand literal and figurative. It's very, very clear. Yeah. If you've watched any of G-Man or even anybody watching oh, yeah. G-Man, he does not understand the difference between literal and figurative. Wait, wait which you're is... telling me that because somebody said that there are owners in the NBA that they don't actually own the players? I, I believe it or not, <laughs> there's this thing called a uh, contract, and it's it, governed by the uh, the laws of the land, which is, is, uh, prohibits is like slavery. A, is that like a testament? Is that a testament? That see, see, it's it's in the Bible because it's a testament. <laughs> sure, G man, <laughs> it's I, I, in I the mean, Bible. You, you'll bring up things that Exodus twenty one or Leviticus twenty five actually say, and they'll him, him and Beckel will just deny it says that. <laughs> Oh yeah. You tell oh, him, oh, it, it says <laughs> I, the guy will say, "I love my master and I love my wife and my children." And he'll say, "No, no, it just says I love my master." The best part you about don't even know this like the, the the best part about like the G man type of argumentation is the moment you uh, correct them, correct them and ascribe your actual beliefs, they'll be like, "No, no, 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 this is what you actually believe. You don't believe that. This this is what you believe." And it's like, "No, I just told you." What what I'm actually going so why can't we have a discussion on that? It's because they have to stay on a fucking script. They have to go through this script in their mind in order for them to win. And since they they have no creativity, they can't come up with multiple scripts throughout time in order for them to like win on multiple different levels. They stick to the same fucking well, one and it makes well. them look like an idiot the entire time. You over the last the 12 or 15 years. By random chance, so you're yeah, but the, th the thing is, is that team and, uh, team and has to win. The thing is, is that for me, I'm all about winning. I mean, I'm all about the conversation because again, yeah. we can all because again, we can agree to disagree. Right. Again, yeah. I don't think any of you are, are stupid or bad people. We just disagree about this one topic. And that's fine. We might find right. other things that we agree on because that's what adults do. I think we had a fairly but productive adult, discussion. I mean, he, than me. Yeah. I mean, like, my, I mean, my I'm going to be 40 me. next year, not 45. Right. My thing is, like, if you actually bring up some of the things in the Bible, they are, oh, yeah, they mention other gods in the Bible. No, they don't. Um, yeah, they, <laughs> they do. Like, yeah. there's, like, G Man, there's no mention of the word hell in the, in the, in the Bible. Yes, it does. The King James Version says it does. Um, no, G Man, hell was the name of a Norse goddess of death that they, 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 it's not in a Bible. Mm -hmm. they, they actually mentioned Hades and they me yeah. mention, like, other gods. Hades no, was actually just like an afterlife. It yeah, wasn't the, um, a modern concept of and toil. hell is from actual Dante's Inferno, where yeah, we right. yeah, well, sorry, Inferno by Dante. Yeah, which is um, a great. And movie, it's but... the idea where we get the hell and the fire and the brimstones is actually yeah. from a book. Or there is, a there is a story, the one verse of Gehenna. The, Bible. the one verse of Gehenna where Jesus says there will be gnashing of teeth. So they have that. Hmm. But I don't know about you guys, but when I'm getting certain attention, my teeth are definitely gnashing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a terrible gnashing of teeth. Okay. Um, I mean, just... Depends uh, on how good it is. Anyway, um... <laughs> the fire you put your fingers through the hair. You know, but that's on Earth. That's on Earth. Yeah. The fire and brimstone what? stuff is on Wait, Earth. Wait, you know what kind of kills me? What's the funniest part about it is... <sighs> Everybody keeps saying 666. I actually am going to be doing a video later on today when I'm talking about this dude. It's like, it's yeah. to market a beast. It's like, um, you know, like, Revelations was just political satire that they were doing in that era because they were talking about Rome. No, it wasn't. It's like, it literally says the number of the name of the beast is 666. Do you That's know Nero, the oldest manuscripts say 616? Yeah, and it's still... And it's a Nero copy Caesar. error? It's a yeah. copy error. Yeah, isn't there, isn't there like a... Six, six, there's like a six three six. No, six one six. It's the oldest. Like the oldest viruses we have of Revelation. It's all I feel like there's six I, one six. I don't know. I feel like there. Mm. I've heard like a few different numbers, and one of them yeah, is like I've even over a thousand, but it doesn't make sense. It's like I don't know. Maybe I've maybe I'm just six 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 one. That's like three hundred as well. Like three hundred and fifty yeah. something. Is is it? Uh, maybe it is like the three one three. Because I know the six, I remember the six one six, but I think there is like a three. We all know that the six one six is the best number there is because that's the main Marvel universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, please don't hate me, but I'm a more of a DC girl myself. Oh, <laughs> that, that's, no, you, hey, that's you okay. I'm I'm with you. Batman's way better than uh, Iron but, Man. Let's just I mean, for me, it's like, I like the Harley Quinn, and I like her new story. Not like the movie. I actually have the it. Harley Quinn comic books. But, the, but Batman I, I don't that. eat coochie, though. Yeah. Like, like, How do you know that? He's a billionaire oh, playboy. Li they literally came out with it. Recently. They said, Jim. They said that um, Batman doesn't eat pussy. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> then what the fuck was he doing with Catwoman? Does Bruce Wayne? Does Bruce Wayne eat it? Ooh. Oh. Valid point. Oh, but which yeah. is the true Batman or Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne is. I don't know. It depends on if Catwoman's is, there. <laughs> like, um, what's it? Bruce Wayne is a facade, and Batman is the real him. Ooh. So. No, Bat Bruce Wayne and Batman is the facade. He's he uses them both to his advantage. The real man is. Can you imagine uh, if Batman's actually is Big B the pussy destroyer? That's who it is. <laughs> and you know what? This is the fun part about it. This, so this is actually one of the things that I actually talk about before. So if inherently DC is actually more judo uh more christian judo what how judeo judeo christian, judeo -Christian. Mm -hmm. than anything because they deal with so many fucking paragons and human beings aren't like that marvel oh, on the other hand some of my favorite characters in marvel are like great like i like adult french franklin richards of okay. course victor von doom is like one of the best characters in comic books um one of the best instances of a character is world war hulk um <laughs> Like, I like you have so many people in Marvel that actually deal with the spectrum of humanity versus oh, I'm I'm just the greatest. You, yeah, you you just have infinite money, dog. But I know I'm just the greatest. <laughs> well, like, but what about Iron Man? Iron Man, no, he is. He's not even the smartest man on earth. That's Reed Richards. But he's a yeah. billionaire. <laughs> but he is Playboy. Unfortunately, a lot of the times when he comes up with stuff, like his best work isn't from his money; it's from his ingenuity. Kind of like Batman. N no, Batman just has infinite money that he can put into a back computer and says, "What's the answer?" You think you think a uh, Batman steps away from that back computer and just lets it go? How many times in the animated series has, has have you uh, seen that? Have you seen him you sitting there? That girl the that got crippled by Joker when um. He was doing what's it, um, the, the something joke, the kidding joke, and he crippled the first Batgirl, who yeah. was Gov Governor Gordon's yeah. daughter. And then because she's in a wheelchair, she can't go out and be Batgirl anymore. So she becomes, Oracle. I can't remember what it's called, but she then Oracle. monitors all the computers in the Batcave. So she is the one feeding Batman all the information, telling him what to do, where things are, doing everything. Yeah, that was Oracle. Yeah. Oracle, yes, thank you. I forgot her name. So, yeah, so Batman can't use Batman other people thing. as resources? I get it. Again, infinite <laughs> money. Like, look at Tim Drake. He <laughs> used Tim Drake to figure out some shit. Well, what the fuck is Jarvis? Jarvis. Just <laughs> an advanced... <laughs> for, like, no, Just right. a very intelligent system, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. However... But, it, but Jarvis is an AI learning machine just like a, uh, a human brain would be in the, the sense of the Oracle, correct? Correct. So what is the, how is Batman wait, a, a wait, downplay wait. and uh, wait, Iron Man is not? Thing, here's the thing, Tony Stark, never, <clears throat> like Hank Pym, which we all know is stupid, created Ultron. Tony Stark didn't create Brother Eye. Okay, well, so did Batman create the Oracle? No, Batman created Brother Eye. Which was, I, I don't know who Brother Eye is. Brother yeah, Oracle was the name of Barbara Gordon when she was, um, uh, when, when she was crippled. Uh, so, when she was shot by Joker. Okay. Bro Brother Eye, just think, okay, so you know the Sentinels in Marvel? How they yeah. was like, oh, we're going to keep track of mutants. And then it was like, oh, mutants are inherently human, so let's kill all the humans because that's the way of making sure. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Brother I was that for metahumans in DC. Okay, that makes that <laughs> makes sense. It's uh, paperclip AI. Have you ever heard that term? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know anything about that. So, I'm, I'm like, 
my my Batman lore just kind of ends at uh, Batman the Animated <laughs> Series. So. Oh. Oh. But uh, although, here's what I'll say, because uh, I do, I get, gotta get out of here. It's actually getting hot. I gotta get out to the woods. I should have been gone like an hour ago. Uh, it, I do want to see some Batman stuff with Temple Fugit, if anybody knows that character. No, I don't. Temple Fugit was um, he uh, he's a he's a very off-brand character, but uh, he was screwed over by the mayor of Gotham by telling him, "Hey, you know, you need to relax once in a while." And he ended up being late to a, uh, oh, a very oh, important the time hearing. Master. Yeah, so now he is able to manip- manipulate time, but the way he does it is he uh, he has a device that just makes you go extremely fast, so that everything around you is actually moving uh, at a slower rate, and I think I think that would be a really interesting character to have in order to really fuck up Batman because if you could slow like, down time, how can Batman react? Then the next thing you're gonna be saying you want to have um a, a, a story with Kite Man or something like that. Who the fuck is Kite Man? Get the hell out! <laughs> <laughs> I, I no no Batman versus Red Tool. <laughs> Red Tool. I don't even know what that is. It's a it's a um. Superhero Harley Quinn um, comes across when it's in her Harley Quinn, the new 52 comic books, oh, and he's absolutely <laughs> infatuated with her. Yeah, I, I, I'll i have to look into that. <laughs> I have no no experience in it. I, you, you're, but, you really do, you really do know the, um, the, the DC 90s um, uh, animated <laughs> universe. Like, man, like, dang, like, I, I bet you were upset about the recent news about Tim Drake then. I uh, who? Okay, so remember so like Batman people. and Robin? Remember the new Robin that they had? That's Tim Drake. And he oh. he's he's become <clears throat> the subject of a lot of anti SJW like little things and it's just like come on guys. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, now no. Tim Drake, is that the fourth Robin? Um that's no, not third. Nightwing. He's the third whatever. Robin. The fourth Robin is actually just Damien. Okay, Damien. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I know. Now he's he's, he's the about. son of Batman, okay. right? Yeah. With, with yeah. Yeah. Wool, what's her name? That's, that's the one. Yeah, yeah like, because Batman was great because he was drug and into yeah, like, right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Int- well, then, I got yeah, to gotta catch up. <laughs> so, you know how Talia knew in the animated series that he was Batman? Right. She drugged him for a while, and they were living together. Really? Yeah. And um, they had a son. She doesn't. Yeah. Go ahead. Doesn't Poison Ivy also know? No. Who? I thought when uh, at least in the animated series. No, no, no. It's Batman who knows her identity because mm. he figures out. Uh, that she was doing the experiments and then that's it, it affected her and that's how he found out he's like oh you're a scientist and you were fucking around and now you're poison yeah, ivy I think yeah. it's like everyone like Harley Quinn everyone knows it was um, Pamela that became yeah. uh, poison ivy like everyone knows it was Harley and Quinzel that became Harley Quinn right, right. see in the, in the anime universe they even hint to to Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy relationship because oh, yeah. she's the first yeah. one that, like, she runs to Pam like right after they um, right after the Joker like beats her like the wrong way or leaves her at the crime scene and she runs over there. Yeah, there's always this underlying um, lesbian relationship between the two, and it's always heavily implied that um, Harley Quinn does love Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy definitely is in love with Harley Quinn, but Harley loves Joker more than Pamela Poison Ivy, so she always goes back. And Mm -hmm. Poison Ivy obviously gets upset and brokenhearted a lot because it's like you're passing up me, who is always lovely to you and good to you and nice to you, for this abusive asshole. I just love that the time in, what was that, Rebirth, where (coughs) Harley Quinn went like, they did the flip of so many characters and she went hyper sane and she was like this hyper intelligent, like completely sane character. Like this is like in a suicide comics and uh, suicide squad comics. And she was like, Oh yeah, no, I'm saying she, she literally was an, was very super intelligent. 
I'm not gonna lie, uh, the Suicide Squad movie was the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. It's so I mean, she's that already the, really fucking smart. The, so the uh, older one, any whichever came out first. So here's the thing about the Suicide Squad. The reason why they're called that is because they literally die so much. They're most like a lot of the characters in the Suicide Squad have actually been resurrected. See, I I I, I couldn't get into it simply because I didn't like the. Uh, the style of the actual characters i just thought it, it was just it in my mind at least from what i've seen it just tries a little too hard to uh punk rock classic characters and i don't like that i've and, not read any of the um suicide squad comic yeah. books yet um another thing i was gonna ask before before i gotta get out of here uh you, you're talking about like uh, old like the 90s villains so they had sandman in uh Spider-Man in the movies. Yeah. Where's Clayface? Clayface is one of the best characters because Clayface can kick the no, shit out of Batman. See, that's the thing. Clayface actually has they it looks like he died, but he became a part of Bat Inc. Doesn't he like what happens? I forget. The, like Clayface essentially gets like washed down the drain. Yeah, but he right. always reforms. But he became right. part of Bat Inc., where Batman has set up little. Is you know how they did Avengers, the Avengers War Initiative, where they have different Avengers. Yeah, teams? yeah, Batman did that. Okay, he had his own little team of like different Bat like areas in across the country, and okay, Clayface yeah. becomes part of the the inner circle, and he takes over for Batman for a while to like um, basically where. Um, God, what was what was the one where like Batman was supposed to be hiding for people, and like you see him like a pro Superman, and Superman comes in and just punches him in the chest, punches him through the chest, and Superman and they was like, "What the fuck, Superman? You just killed Batman." He was like, "I memorized all of my friends' heartbeat. This isn't Batman." And he comes out, it was Clayface. Oh shit! <laughs> that is super creepy. Can you imagine yeah, if he suddenly creepy. developed like a heart yeah. problem and he's just like, "That's not my real friend." Boom. No, no. Oh but, shit! That wasn't Clay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would actually know that. He's like, I memorized all of their heartbeats. But that's just the same as Batman saying, "Like, oh yeah, I ninja around Superman where you couldn't hear me." Wait, what the fuck? He yeah. he literally <laughs> stuck around Superman. Was like, hey, what's going on? Here yeah. I gotta I gotta get going, but I got a yeah. uh, here I got a I got a movie idea for you guys to uh, to mill about for a little Ooh. bit. Check this out, okay? So we've all we've all heard of Left Behind, right? The, the Resurrection, yeah, yeah. Mm. Stupid ass I, yeah, I've movie. heard of it. I've never seen it. Right now, it, yeah. now uh, in that movie, like there's the y usual resurrection where there's like clothes falling from the sky, and it's like Ooh. oh, people got they, they done got disappeared. And now we're going into chaos. What if the people didn't disappear, but they just became like really distressed and anxious trying to get souls back and their their soul back? And the main thing that they did was go after the non-believers and crack their skulls open. And it became sort of like a zombie type movie. We, of, we uh, have something similar like, to that. It's called This Is The End, which was actually it? sound like a better fun movie than that. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I... I I, I I think that would be a really good concept of it. Folks, uh, it's football time in America, so uh, I'll see y'all around. <laughs> Take care. What? We I get to see people. Thing, we I get to see, see people you. have brain damage. Yay! <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a long-lasting brain damage too, oh, yeah. but it's okay oh, because they have better medical like care than you. Wait. All right, hey, I gotta get going. I should have been gone like over an hour ago, so I will oh, uh, appreciate yeah. you guys having me and thank you. I will uh, uh, see you again soon. Very yeah, good. I'll probably talk to you later. later. Yeah, I'll be on. Uh, I'll be on live later tonight, probably around like seven for uh, Stream Stalgia. And if you want to break from uh, like G Man and stuff, stop by, and we're just gonna be going over. I'm gonna touch on like the 9/11 broadcast real quick, uh, uh -huh. just to just to watch it as history, and then we're gonna go into like. Uh, environmental safety and stuff like that from the past and can see how put, it's kind of oh, changed. Can you put your link in the chat? Or... Uh, I don't think I have mods, but I can... Uh... No, put in the private chat. Oh, in yeah, the private, private, private chat. chat. Yeah, yeah, sure. Too easy. I can do that. Uh, give me a second. I'll do that, and then I will... Uh...
I was about to say, you just say, say something that's in the chat yours, real quick, isn't it? I'll give you mine. No. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, wait. I'm confused. People are too many people are talking. Yeah, if, really I, thought, if, it, chat, yeah, if like Villa just put it in. Oh, she, you got me? It's okay. Like, can you double check? Yeah, oh, okay, yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it awesome. Is, it is. Okay. I said, uh, yeah, that was the last thing I copy and pasted, so I was like, oh, it's already there, <laughs> just waiting. Brilliant. And thank you so much for doing that in uh, Ms. Parker's chat. I really appreciate yeah. that. Oh, it's good, darling. Yeah, we're up to uh, 645 subscribers. Yeah. From... Oh, wow. Uh, can yeah. somebody put that <laughs> so... in the chat for. Yep. Uh, I, I, I think I can. Everyone else, there you go. So thank you, thank you very much for to having you later, me. Okay. By the way, um, oh, you sure. know that video, that person I talked to you about earlier in Discord. Um, which one? Uh, just uh, talk to me about it later. Uh, we'll, uh, Intel, we'll... dickhead. I want to make. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool yes, absolutely. Um, I That'd definitely want to get your get your take on that. I'm. I have some other Incel stuff, but I'll get into your. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll... Incel stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh, I. I have a uh, I have a locale that you guys probably hadn't heard of called uh, the Captain Aaron Clary. Uh, yeah, he is just as bad as you would imagine. Oh, and he's kind of he's kind of freaking out. It seems because he made his entire living on these shitty self help books that just tell you that you're a, a shit person and everything's your fault. And now he's like struggling to make it to live stream all the time on YouTube and like get the uh, get the message out there. Is what I've noticed, but so, he's not—he's not struggling financially by any means. But he's not doing so well uh, mentally. It doesn't seem. Check out my channel because it is Absolutely. some people that you would love to see. I want to introduce you to brain cancer called Coach Red Pill, and you would have fun with him. Oh, I know—I know a little bit about Coach Red Pill, and I have avoided him uh, because God Crimson, damn, is he gonna fucking? Crimson, you want to drop your link? I yeah, if you could. I'll, I'll go ahead. And I was saying, I introduced her to security just today. This guy called Nuance Now. He went viral last month from doing a video titled "Women Aren't Real," and she's saying like, "Real women aren't real. Um, women shouldn't be in charge of educating their children past like five, six years old because they're not competent enough to all this like crazy shit and lots of." Um, big YouTubers um, jumped on it and started like um, doing like reaction videos to it. And one of them's like a really famous one. He's one that looks sort of like Jesus. Um, that one right there is Crimson's link. Yeah, right, yeah um, I just I just subbed to Crimson. I watch, I, I watch some of videos on like the forest. penguins. Well, like, I've enjoyed talking to Crimson because he seems like a he seems like a a, a cool guy. Yeah, same. I, I haven't had a problem with any anybody here. I mean, I know Vila probably better than anybody on the panel, but I, I I'm glad we had like a reasonable, productive discussion. And yeah, uh, Gary, like you were saying, you're you're not G man. Oh, and I mean, no, it doesn't not. take a whole lot to show that you're not. But yeah, the fact you're that you're absolutely so much nicer. I, yeah, and we we went around like challenging your beliefs and the main thing that you did was listen so i i personally really appreciate that because you didn't well, yeah. you didn't well, freak well, out you actually you were part of the discussion and it's not saying that like a, a normal christian wouldn't be but it definitely sets yourself apart from people like g-man well the thing, thing sure. is, is if i if if i want to teach your body you want to choose brian we have to listen to each other surely yes right and and just like the respect. Just said. right 100 percent, yeah Yep. Yeah, because 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 the thing is, is that like you know people. I mean, the thing is, is that if you want to change my mind, you have to listen to what I have to say. You can't because right. if you if you just came to this chat and said, "Oh, well, you believe the same things as you might do. You believe that evolution didn't happen. You didn't believe this." this. No, you you let me describe what I actually thought, and we discussed that. And so you discussed a straw back. I listen to what you right. had to say, and again, and I think that's the best way we can change each other's mind, really. Right. Exactly, and that's. That... And I'm definitely glad you got on here, Gary, because uh, I mean, everybody who's watched any of my videos knows I don't like echo chambers. So I'm I'm glad we did have a little bit of confrontation, even though, uh, you know, we we still agree to disagree, and it was it's it's amiable. Oh yeah. yeah, I didn't want to talk to Gary to like try to deconvert him or anything like that. I don't, no. I don't appreciate that sort of behavior unless someone holds especially toxic views, like. Gary, like G-Man's views. 
yeah, I think yeah. they're toxic and I would like someone to not deconvert him of Christianity, <laughs> but of his toxic views. Right. And I think that's a big difference, like big difference. Like you know what? be Christian if you want, cool. As long as you're not being toxic. I think yeah. what has to happen is somebody like it's just and this is my whole idea with Rev too. Somebody has to be around him and want to be around him that's not related to him so he doesn't feel like they have to they have to tolerate him like it was working a little bit for a gp but like gp still holds some shit that he, he is just bad but like you can tell when gary no, is around people is when gary's around people that don't have to be around and that choose to be around him and it's just not using him for like i don't know say like they have a struggling christian animation channel that they think that they can have brother g man um lend some credence to when somebody is just like look when he was hanging out with nate and, and hana like he was a little bit more calmer but as soon as he started acting the fucking fool they're like we out dude like like we i out. mean it's like it's like clutch, clutch 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 carry on, man. <laughs> like that's got a, like the only people that are around him are using him for money yeah i mean um, that's it's not a christian so thing to sad. do he's doing it yeah for the sake of getting in god's good graces which makes it in entirely unchristian and that's that's kind of you know no aside from like the i guess the unchristian part i that's kind of what i was saying to gp the other night while he was defending g-man to the death why are you giving money to people who are capable of working they're using you they're using you. It's not you're not doing the Christian thing. You're Dude. just being fucking used and manipulated Literally and you says need in the Bible, to... teach a man to fish yeah. like he only eat for the rest of his life. But if you give a man a fish, he'll only eat for one day. Like Yeah, you know like what? they yeah. I don't know. It's I'm... I I let me do, let me just say that if you're going to defend that and you're not going to uh, call it out on its ass when it when it needs to be then well that's just foolish and you're you're gp in that in that sense is enabling uh shani and rev's behavior Rev, yeah. as much as g-man you know what and the sad part about it is as much as i fucking dis despise their behavior as much as i despise their behavior I don't want Shani or Rev in the workforce. I'm sorry. I, those are people that oh, I, I would don't never. Want. I would never I, hire. I, but here's the thing. I, I, I'll say this. This is the reason why I say okay, that. Okay, go ahead. Rev is somebody who I know he's unmedicated for psychiatric breaks. Yes. And I wouldn't want him in the workforce. And maybe it's a bleeding heart liberal or socialist shit. Of like, I feel that people like that they should be able to eat like normal people do, have housing, and like. Like I, let's consider I it can, now. YouTube, I I like, I totally know where you're going because uh, everybody should have the right to you know food, shelter, water, and you know uh, 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 basically a place to stay a, a nine by nine little wooden box and uh, yeah, food I in their mean, stomach so if, you can I go mean, to go get up the next was, day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I wouldn't but even like, say that, but I'm just saying well, like it, I, I would say that even like utilities like the internet, which is a utility now. Let's right. Like, like but I'm not saying that they should have a mansion, but like. We have enough to make sure that they live, it's, not just sub. Uh, yeah, but if Rev living. was medicated, right. he would be fine to work. I, Plus, that is too. Here, here's the thing, Rev. Rev can be taught how how to run a weed whacker. He can learn how to use a shovel. He doesn't need to be. He doesn't need to work as a cashier. He doesn't need to be in customer service or retail or uh, manufacturing even. Just no, give I, him I, give him some simple shit someone there to mentor him to, to teach him how to do it and eventually eventually it'll start clicking in him that oh i i have this skill and this skill and since i keep getting booted from these jobs because i'm a, a dumb piece of shit, i can actually transfer those <laughs> skills over so when i go to the the next landscaper that says uh can you work a weed whacker i can say yes i can you know so it, it, he but these people they are unwilling to even take that step and they yes we, we should everybody should have basic needs met i i, I, mean, like... I, I agree with that but these my, my problem is is 
Um, I'm not saying that they have to work to survive, but they are both capable and they're using G-Man. They are using another individual who is, uh, while more physically capable, uh, definitely less intelligent than them. And yeah. they're manipulating him and it's wrong. I, and he I, should not be giving them the resources. But, uh, but, but That's his, the his, 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 I want to disagree with you, uh, Lizard, and I'm going to tell you why, right? Because I knew Rev before he was with Shabby, when he was still, unfortunately, a drinking man. Right. Um, and he was a nice, kind, you know, he had some views that I disagree with, you know, his white nationalism. But, you know, apart from those really abhorrent views he owned, he was a, he was a decent enough guy, you know what I mean? Right. The thing is, is that you got to remember who he's with. He's with somebody who he was a very toxic human being. Oh god! Well, yes, yeah, you you right. also have to remember. You also have to remember his personality too. Yeah, because right. he, he he tries to adopt the personality of the people that he's closest to, and it would be also beneficial Shani to him. Off his mum's death as well. Yeah. Like, oh I, my god, I couldn't save my mum from dying. My wife uh, is sick. I can save her. I can save her. My my thing, like I understand that uh, Rev may be too far gone to get to get him. To be, you know, a normal productive member of society, Wait, even if that is a minimum wage. But but what I what I just want to say real quick is like, uh, if you want to say like, yeah, he Rev can't have original thoughts. We know that. That's why uh, General Zon Four exists because General Zon Four is Rev's only original thought. It it's a shitty name and it doesn't make any sense. And. If, if Rev needs to attach himself to people in order to, like, uh, take on their qualities and stuff, the best thing for him to do would be to have a a mentor, uh, a real man in his life, to be like, hey, yeah. this is how this is how things are going to work. And actually, him. like, yeah, sit so there good. Right, Wait, and then. put a fucking hard day's work into him while explaining to him See, the, the, the reward this, like, of it. But I'm actually disabled. I'm on benefits because I'm right. unable to work because of my mental health issues and my physical health problems. And I find it very infuriating seeing people that are actually capable of working. They could go out and work, mm -hmm. but they don't. And they try and find all these excuses to not work. And then they actually give people with mental health and physical health problems are bad names everyone looks at that person and um think oh that's what they're all like like rev could get I, medicated and he could get healthy and he could work that is possible uh, his problems aren't stopping him working if he got help now maybe healthcare i believe healthcare should be free it's a basic human right and i think if he could work he could work if he has his health, if he has health care, if he has medication, like right. Shani should work. She can work. I mean, she's those... done it before, and I don't believe obesity is a fucking disability. I'm going to say this when it comes to like certain things, and I get every, what everybody's coming from. However, one of the things that I do want to say is like when people say hard gets their work, it is a little lacking of imagination to me because. I would pay to have Rev, as long as he couldn't hurt or influence somebody, to literally be in front of a camera talking shit. I will pay for that. Well, you can do that. But and that's the thing. Like <laughs> my my whole thing is, it's like I, I just like I've I'm almost forty. I came in a right. generation where they would they will say like, "Hey, what are you talking about? You're on the the what the internet and you're making money playing video games like." I, I came oh, yeah. up, and it, the thing about yeah. it is, I know exactly what everybody is saying, but like literally, I think not that he needs a father or paternal figure, but he's in that same camp with G Man, where just like I don't need to show you authority in order for you to listen to me, but I do need to show you that I care to listen. That's why he's so. That's why Rev and G Man are so attached to each other because it's not a. I'm gonna supplement myself to you. It's like, oh, you're my friend, even though I'm a shitty person. I mean, if they want to make money off YouTube, I don't care. What yeah. I'm not okay with is um, 
then right. not going out and getting the initiative to earn right. money and then complaining like, we uh, don't have money. Well, you look, not if, if, you Shani, right now. if Shani and you Rev were... Check. Do both. Go work and do YouTube. You can do it, but, but don't see, complain now, that you're not broke as here's, fuck and not trying to get money. Here's, here's the thing. If, if Shani, both Shani and Rev were in their exact current states right now and both of them worked a part-time job at fucking Dollar General during the night shift, I wouldn't have a fucking thing to say. It, it, that is true. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just... them out at that point. They'd be like, oh, right. shit, you're actually trying. You uh, need money. Right. Okay. It, they you won't even you. do the bare minimum is the problem. And well, I'm, uh, I, uh, can I ask a question? Real quick, right. Gary, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you finish, but then I got to go. Uh, <laughs> and real quick, uh, Mary Sinrise, I didn't read the whole books. I just read what was available on Amazon because I wanted to answer a question. She asked it a while ago, but I'm sorry to cut you off so much. Uh, oh, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, I was just uh, going to ask, uh, how, uh, how much is like $750,000 like in GB money? Just so I've because I think, I, I think it's uh, like, I think it's about uh, like 500, 600,000. No. It's like, um, no, wait. It, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's it is like 500, six, sorry, I was thinking it's the other way. Yeah, it's about 500, yeah. 600K. Yeah, so like they burnt through that in two years. I mean, I don't think most of us could burn through that in 10 years, maybe. Maybe see, 10 that's years. The, yeah. That's the thing. Like, there is like a serious issue. And I mean, like, I'm just going to go out and say it too, because I'm not trying to armchair psych. Like, there is something seriously wrong with Shane. And we're not talking yeah. about her weight. Yeah. And it's like she probably needs to be medicated too. And oh no, she definitely does. I, like um I, borderline I, personality disorder. I actually know this. Um spending sprees are a thing. Like they oh, have yeah. very poor impulse control with buying things. So a lot of them have shopping addictions. Because my and, friends got it and that's what she does. And I was like But here's my hmm. thing. This is this is my problem. If it means that taking care of of 10 100 people like that 10,000 people like that to make sure a million people have the same standard of living that's a fostering bargain that I'm willing to make I'm totally oh, yeah. fine with that but we are literally watching two people that are capable of working not work I I get that you know what I'm saying I, <laughs> like I if you were if it, it like I I get the trade off I, I get it. And you know what? If we're focusing just in on Shani and Rev, not as the whole talking about everyone yeah. else, though. Like I, I know and the thing about it is I we live in we live in a society, but no, uh, we live in a society where the careers that we once thought were the only ones possible. Like I I just like if not, it, not even we, I mean you can you can think about all the ways you can fucking make money, man. <laughs> I knew when I needed money, money for my kids. Like, like first Christmas, I was alone as a single parent. I was like, "Fuck it, I need money." All my electronics got sold. Everything yeah. got sold. I didn't have jewelry. Got sold. I even started to sell nudes just like so this. I could have money for my I mean, kids. I mean, I can, I could literally I go out to. I was like, "Fuck it, I need that. <laughs> I need some money for food and presents for my kids for Christmas. I'm a do summer." Next month, I could go out to public land and pick mushrooms and sell them for five cents a piece, and then make some money like you well, just have to put in yeah, a little legal, bit of effort if you really mushrooms. want the, the money the good mushrooms well you can probably <laughs> those, sell for a lot more well those are grown on <laughs> private land in the cow patties so uh, i don't like being shot i'm just saying i don't know if you've ever been there yeah, well. you should come to the <laughs> tend to stay away from it <laughs> what's that fine. come to the uk you'll be fine like most farms have right off public like, have a public footpath on oh, them you can sweet. walk through and you guys don't have guns some people do some farmers okay. do. Farmers are allowed guns, but oh, and sea also, mines? Um, they pay people in the UK to go around and pick the mushrooms before mushroom like teenagers start roaming around looking oh. for mushrooms to pick. So you actually get paid to pick the illegal Shit. mushrooms. Well, which then most people then sell. But see stuff. So like you got that. a couch I could sleep on? I'm thinking about this job in the UK. <laughs> yeah, like, why not? <laughs> sweet. Like, but, but like, I work at a call center, which I hate. The job I hate. But like I am literally, I know you guys can't see the light, but like I'm a literally an artist. Like I would pay, I would pay, God damn it, I would pay to see the artisanal cigarettes that Rev would roll. 
Uh, Crimson, uh, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you read the books that uh, Rev put out? Oh no! I've just heard the first few chapters as Drag Red, and I was oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. like, like, get this man some, arguably a lot of help writing. But I would love to see what comes out of the mind of that motherfucker. Get, look, look, look. There's look. A, that's what I'm saying. Nothing original. Everything but, that was in those two those two chapters, because I read the same thing, and I've made the same point. Everything in there, except for General Zonfor. Which is why General Zonfor doesn't fit in. That name just doesn't flow. It doesn't fit in anywhere. That's Rev's original thought, and it's mixed in with all of this, you know, revelation shit. I know, well, but the horse historical is- fiction bullshit. That just it's just like, why did why he doesn't understand the difference wait, between wait, a wait, watchdog wait, wait. and the the deep state? Wait, 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 wait. Have you seen sorry, Hollywood? Yes pictures lately have you heard of the writers that hollywood pictures nothing is original i want to see the batshit crazy that we can get out of that man i would exploit the shit that's, out of that but that's the problem literally he stole everything and yeah. it, like it's it's uh, and you know you can say well nothing's original i've said that on my own channel like if you're going to start streaming the and i stole this from chris Raygun. nothing is original yeah. just yeah. just do it but at the same time like you it's it should be it shouldn't be so easy to just pull apart and be like wow so i guess you read about fucking operation overlord and wait, now you're you're attributing wait, that exact same thing to your book wait, right now wait 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 S- sml <laughs> you're thinking you're thinking too hard you oh, know that there are so many people that won't recognize that shit you know you know the- you know like, give this man a channel and a mic that doesn't hum and where he can't block people. Well, he only it only hums because he overblows it yelling about Kit, Kit, Kevin Kit Kats and how he's a boy when he doesn't have cigarettes. Don't give him <laughs> mod controls in the chat. It was like, hey, we're going to put you in front of the channel and here's an idea. That would be hilarious. Sorry. That would be hilarious. Like, like just don't do TOS. Well, we're gonna let you say whatever you want to say, but you can't. I think have Rev would do that if it weren't for Shannon in his ear constantly saying all this stuff. Like, oh, don't yeah, sh- do that. Oh, well, Shannon is that's the problem. Yeah, Shannon is always on the other side of the camera, so you'll never no, get. No, no, no. Let her uh, wind him up. Let her wind him up because that's that's when the best videos come. It's like, oh yeah, he's. They said you had a baby carrot. What? I don't have a baby carrot. Want to like, see my dick? <laughs> just, all you got to do is like, all you'd have to do is go into the chat and be like, when Rev starts speaking up, you just be like, got to ask Shani, does he always act like this towards you? And she will repeat that. Yeah, he acts like this towards all me the all the time. And he will go, no, I do not. No, and babe, lose his I'm fucking sorry. mind. I'm sorry. Guaranteed I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a bad person. I yelled at you when I was supposed to. <laughs> That's when I was, uh, oh, I was being evil. I, Get I, the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me, what was it? Winding him up, winding him up, winding him up, saying, and poke, just keep poking. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're right. I'm evil. I'm terrible. I got so upset. And it's like, you did. She, you were. You're, you're. Awful! Yeah. You're such a bad partner. I know. I'm so sorry. She Fuck wound it. him up a little bit too much. I want to rip my dick off after me and decide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as I said, well, security. I mean, security she wants to watch. Wind up like that. Hit, hit, hit me up. I live in the northwest. I could, I could sit you out drinking. No oh, problem. I think, I think that. I think that the problem is, is that Villa, I think Villa lives down south, so she lives. Oh, she, she, she lives quite far away from me. Well. Well, not really, but, but we well, UK me, people think it's a lot of way. Well, let me let me um, uh, fly in and I'll get in between you guys. Huh? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> well, that would be like the Midlands. She lives down south. I live in the northwest. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we'll figure something out. I, I I don't know if I'll ever make it to the UK. Not anytime soon because of fucking COVID. COVID and I also oh, live yeah. in Trump country, so. Oh, God. Yeah, no thanks. Oh. I mean, I think <laughs> it's, it's I mean, Oklahoma, here, I understand. Said. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, hey, I gotta, I gotta get going. So yeah. I really appreciate you guys having me. I know I stayed on too long, but I will see you oh, all. Gosh. Hopefully, at least some of you. Hopefully tonight uh, around seven thirty. Take really care, so. and I hope you all have a good weekend. You say yeah, a good one. Bye bye. I am also gonna leave. I need to go. I be a mother. Oh, I understand. Uh, my, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my kids uh upstairs, you know, complaining <laughs> right now. Uh, mine uh, got back from my mum's. 
just a little bit ago and I'm going to have a bit more, have a bit of family time with her before dinner and bed. Yeah, isn't it almost like um, nighttime over there? Like the uh, next it's, it, it's nearly half six. In the yeah, it's, it's, in. Just, it's like, what, 6, 29, 29 now? Yeah, oh, so you guys are only six hours ahead of me because I'm in um, 1230. I'm in. Oh, are, you, okay. are, you, are, you, are you in the East Because no, I'm in fast. Central. I'm in Chicago. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh. That so the UK just didn't do different time zones for the country because technically <laughs> there are three different time zones in England, but we all just have Greenwich Mean Time. You're telling me that the country that invented the Prime Meridian decided that they're going to keep one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Prime Meridian. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> no, just to fuck with Americans even more. <laughs> I, well, we, we've, that, we've no, gone on about an hour and a half longer. Have a lovely rest of your so, day. Yeah. Bye. See you later, Bye. But, like I said, we, we've gone on about close to an hour and a half longer than I was intending. But I mean, no, the, sorry about that. Conver no, conversation was great. The you know, I I didn't want to interrupt flow or anything like that. So uh, that's cool. I mean, I, I mean, like, you guys. Know, it was, it was uh, nice to talk to people I've never talked to before. I've never talked yeah. to Crimson before. Oh, well, face to face. I've talked, I think I've we've maybe had a chat in drugs chat, but I think that it was nice to talk to Villa before. I've not really talked to her face to face. I've never talked to Security Lizard before. So if that's I, a girl. I, I tend to stay out of the religious conversations mm -hmm. on my channel because, like, um, it's not fun to me. Um, which fun to me is like shitting on right wingers. Oh, that like, like okay. So if you've ever watched the if you watch the Geek Room Salt Mine, like the, not oh, this yeah. Saturday, but you know the guy Elliot Hoss was talking about be your wife boss. <laughs> I that that like that motherfucker like that like oh like oh I love talking to insecure motherfuckers like that who says well if you got to get over love you have to scorn her in your mind. Wait, I don't score my exes, but that that's just me because you know I'm a rational human being, so I, I love talking about shit like that. It's fine. I mean, like the thing is, is that I thought this conversation was interesting because again, I got to learn something about you. You got to learn something about me, and that's what this should be. No, uh, no problem, man. That's what the yeah. internet is for—to learn and to grow and shit like that. Exactly. I, 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 again, like the thing is, I was thinking about not coming into this chat because I thought it was just going to be like you know, for people who do believe. But then I talked to him and he said, "No, no, you know, I don't want a um, echo chamber." A, an echo chamber, you yeah. know, come in. And I was just like, "All right." So one of the things that I do do want to make sure I let you know is this: in a lot of the non-believers atmosphere, um, we don't do that because the thing about it is we come from a place where it was told to us, don't associate with those. Don't associate with those people. Don't, 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 because they're evil. A lot of us came from that that space. And even when you have those people that act like that, they're, they're, they end up being religious. Like, think about it. Look at Sargon of Akkad now. Look at Armor Skeptic. They are going to back to, well, we need to have some sort of religion because it's all about control. It was mm -hmm. never about well, I'm going to be a skeptic. It was like, no, I want to go against the status quo and the shifting alliances that they have. When you literally talk to people that have an abandonment of the concept or dogma of religion, like you mentioned, um, who's the fuck, that fucking asshole, Richard Dawkins. Yeah. He never, never really abandoned the concept of religion. Look at his whole thing about um, he. Oh, he doesn't like religions, but he's extremely hateful of um, of uh, uh, Islam. He has a dogma that he wants to push. He, like even, but when you compare him to other atheist activists, they don't. They just want to ask the truth, and they say, "Well, hey, where is the proof?" Are right, one of the most adding. A ardent person that um, that goes for you know non belief now is Arn Ra. You never hear him say like, "Oh no," it's like, "No, prove to me where's the God." Now he does have a thing against Christians because most of them lie to push their point. 
Yeah, I mean, that... So, but... yeah, you're always welcome in our spaces, man. Yeah. It's like, just don't be a dick. You can be a dick whether you're an atheist or a Christian. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I can be a dick on occasion because I'm a sort of street kid, but <laughs> I try to eat that to a bit of a... Um, the, 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 the point is, is that, like, you know, and pe- people say, oh, they're going up at him. Really? Again, the thing is, is that the conversation was getting a bit heated, but the thing is, is that if I was a, if I was more of a, what's the word, dick, as you want to put mm. it, you know, the, the conversation could have gone a bit of a different direction, but yeah. it didn't. The thing is, again, the things you were saying to me or asking me, I didn't think were inappropriate. So Yeah, no, that's yeah. and that's fine. And I want to, like, let me just address Ivy. Um, yeah, I've watched Jesse Lee Peterson, and the fact that I don't trust a man that said he's he hasn't masturbated in 27 years <laughs> while he was able to masturbate. I don't trust that man. Like shit, I don't barely masturbate, but I if I need to, like man, and also the fact that he liked gay like fisting porn, like yeah, no, that motherfucker masturbates. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> what he didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jesse Pieces of Gay. Again, I've heard the name, but I don't really know who he is. Um, do do you love black people? Yeah, that's the one that uh, claims he's uh, black on the outside, white on the inside. Do you love black people? I love all people, but do you love black people? <laughs> yes, okay. he, he's 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 a joy. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and end this. Um, I I have a PayPal link. I, I don't really care. Uh, it's literally if you just type in carnivorous ape as one word, you, if you want to send me a couple of shekels, that's fine. If not, I don't, you know, I'm not doing this for money. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's there. Uh, I'm going to try doing this uh, every other weekend because my, uh, my custody uh, issue, my, I don't have my kids every other weekend, except for this weekend because my son was being stubborn. But uh, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try doing this every other weekend. Uh, I may do it uh, you know, on the off weekends if I have time, but it's probably not going to be. Uh, other than that, I, I really hope to have you guys on again. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, lo- I'm loving the conversations afterwards. I, I may drop it down to maybe reading for a half hour instead. That way we can actually get a little bit more conversation in. I, look, I trust me. I get, cause I have my daughter every other Saturday myself. Yeah. So I know how it is. Um, I did want to address, um, Mary. Um, I it, like, if I'm not streaming on Twitch, I'm usually walking around with a shirt off. Um, <laughs> I'm, I trust me. It's not it, like literally like, I know we have another shirtless, a shirtless light skinned guy that likes to walk around like no like i even go outside with my shirt off because like i i i give no fucks because um oh yeah. i do too i like yeah no i i i have a b cup and everything <laughs> like the fuck prison can i ask you a question and sure. by the way this is this is this is this is like can you actually rap? Because the thing is, is that I want someone to make no. another rap to our G band. Because the thing is, the guy cannot rap for shit. I mean, no, oh. no, 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 no. I can definitely not rap. I can do spoken <laughs> word, and most of those, you know, spoken word poems were about sex and hoping I would do sex. But damn it, I was eighteen anyway. <laughs> I was about to say I do poetry. I don't rap. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, no, it's, it's I, just I actually like, have you know, to write a poem for G man. Uh, well, th- 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 oh my god! Uh, yeah. The thing, the thing, the thing <laughs> is, is that uh, as I said watching G Man's rap. I mean, like you know, because I grew up in the nineties, like you know, with NWA and Fabian, Grandmaster Flash and Fabian, Nello Cool G and all this sort of stuff. The guy, the guy can't rap. I mean, let, let's just like his Miss Parker one was the closest one he's come to it. Look, look, he can't even rap a present in <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> With both hands, a bow, and instructions. Like, no. He couldn't even wrap it up. He couldn't even... Like, <laughs> I hope he's wrapping it up when he's um, fucking shiny. But anyway, no. allegedly. Um, <laughs> and I'm sorry for giving you that mental image, Carnivious <laughs> Ape, of the other day. But, like... <laughs> it's all right. I, 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 saw, I saw Shani's only fans, trust me. There's nothing that's more horrific than that. So, trust me. Oh, I haven't really uh. saw it. I've seen one picture of it. I was like, oh, nope, I want to have sex later <laughs> on in life. 
<laughs> yeah, I had somebody message me on Discord about that. They got blocked immediately. I still haven't unblocked them. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, I'm probably going to go and yeah. probably play some video games. I yes, just, okay. Sorry for keeping you guys oh, for no so worries. long. That's all right. I'm going to probably go up and feed my kid lunch and probably sit down and play video games with him for a little while. So, Which, which system? Uh, Xbox. Mostly. Oh, I feel um, so I, sorry for you. How did well, you like your eulogy that PlayStation just did Thursday? I didn't even see it. Oh, oh. But it did oh. the rock and all that sort of stuff. No. Okay, so so when I play by myself, I play on Steam. I mean, my, okay. my computer is set up and it's powerful enough. I don't worry about it. But when I play with my kid, it's usually Xbox. Spider-Man 2 mm-hmm. with Miles Morales, Peter Parker, and um, a voiceover. Like, look up the PlayStation Showcase and look at the um, different things. Of course, they're going to have – Insomniac is going to have a game with – Mr. Angry Miss Stabby Hands, like the least interesting character in Marvel. Well, <laughs> the way that you, you, you use that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why people like Wolverine. He's not fun. Some of his villains are fun, but he's just Mr. Angry Miss Stabby Hands. And whenever he has any interesting characteristics, he can't be angry. Like, oh, he took over the team where he had to lead the team. He's not acting angry. He's acting responsible. But other than that, he's Mr. Angry McStabby Hands that has a thing for Gene that she never fucks him over. Actually, like, even when Scott and Gene broke up, oh, Gene, like, no, go fuck you already go. Like, go have fun other places. <laughs> the f- I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. But, oh, heck, we're already at three hours and 25 minutes now. Uh, Damn it. Yep. So, uh, do you guys have any last words, Gary? You want to no, close just, us uh, out? Just, just uh, thank you for the conversation, everybody. That was interesting. Yeah, we definitely uh, segued a few times, but it, it was a good conversation. I, I enjoy, I enjoy friendly conversations. Uh, Crimson, you said you had a. Are you doing anything on Twitch later, or are you? I, I may actually. So I have a really personality where if i'm into something i really do it so it's this game called city skylines where i'm trying to create a walkable city with okay. great mass protect mass transportation and halfway decent to live with so like my twitch channel i don't know if you guys like i know i didn't put it in but this is my twitch channel if i can just bring it up right quick yeah, go ahead and drop it in the private chat and i'll uh repost it in the regular uh, but post it there and I'll sub to you. Yeah, with, with my Twitch channel, what I'm trying to do is get an average of three people watching at a time. And then um, it's actually real forgiving about monetization. So I'm at like 2.8. So if I can get that three over a 30-day time period, then I can start getting monetization from Twitch. Yay. Woohoo. There you go. Okay, so that's Crimson's Twitch. Uh, you want to give him a watch? I'll just go follow that now while I've got a free bit. Damn it. Okay. All right, guys. So but, thank you for having me on. It is enjoyable. Yep. It's always enjoyable talking to you. You guys have you guys have a good one. I'm gonna you go too. ahead and oh. Okay. So uh, obviously it started as a Bible reading, but at the same time we, you know, had, so we had a lot of fun. So, uh, if this is the kind of playful conversation you guys like, I'm going to try and keep it a little bit further away from the G man and Shanny thing. Cause that's getting old, but at the same time, if it comes up, it comes up, uh, it's almost three and a half hours now. Uh, think critically, eat your meat. It's good for you. And I will say goodbye. You guys have a good one.